BGMC. The biblical truth lives here. scriptures foretold of the anointed one, Yeshua HaMashiach. The Messiah Yeshua came to call the people back to the truth of His word and to follow that righteous path. Yeshua then called Jewish men to be His disciples, and after His death and resurrection, those Jewish men told the world about the Jewish Messiah. Now, after 2,000 years, Beth Goyim Messianic Congregation has that same calling of those Jewish men telling all people, both Jew and Gentile, about the proper ancient path, teaching the Route 66 King's Highway from Genesis through to Revelation, and how you need and can get back to the proper roots of the faith and a closer walk with God. Now, let's hear the message. Let's go get a blessing. Turn to Divarim, Deuteronomy chapter 29. Vamos al libro de Deuteronomio 29. Deuteronomy, Divarim chapter 29. Deuteronomio 29. This is the 654th taped message. Este es el mensaje número 654. It is called Stubborn. Y se titula Necio. Stubborn. Necio. How many people know about being stubborn? ¿Cuánta gente se... Ha sido necio. Conoce okay. que es el necio. Okay, we're going to start off the, the teaching in Divarim 29. Vamos a empezar la enseñanza de Deuteronomio 29. Verse 10 through 20. Versículo 10 al 20. Okay, uh, everything you hear today. Todo lo que vas a escuchar aquí hoy día. Will be in English and in Spanish. Va a ser en inglés y en español. We're going to be going to a lot of scripture today. Vamos a revisar muchas escrituras hoy día. But I'm only going to read it in English. Pero solo lo vamos a leer en inglés. So if you're reading in Spanish, please read everything I ask you to. Si estás leyendo en español, por favor, lee toda la escritura completa. We have a lot of new people following Beth Goyim here and online. Tenemos mucha gente nueva uh, siguiendo a Beth Goyim aquí y en el internet. Some terms that we use here, everybody. Algunos términos que utilizamos aquí. When you hear me say the word Yehovah, Cuando me escuches decir la palabra Yehovah, that means the Father, the Eternal One. Eso significa el Padre, el Eterno. When you hear me use the term Elohim, <coughs> cuando me escuches decir el término Elohim, that's for the Father, the Son, and the Ruach Hakodesh. Eso es para el Padre, el Hijo y el Ruach Hakodesh. All found in Genesis chapter one. Todos ellos, estos nombres se encuentran en Génesis capítulo 1. Cuando me escuches decir el nombre Yeshua, ese es el Hijo del Dios viviente. Then I would use the word Mashiach. Y voy a utilizar también la palabra Mashiach. That is the name of Messiah in Hebrew. Ese es el nombre del Mesías en hebreo. Mashiach means anointed one. El Mesías significa el ungido. Anointed one. El ungido. Sometimes you'll hear me use the term parash. Algunas veces me vas a escuchar decir el término parash. That means the portion of the Torah that we read each and every week. Eso es la porción, la parte de la lectura de la Torah que leemos cada semana. Today's message will have a synopsis. El mensaje de hoy día va a tener una sinopsis. And three sections. Y tres secciones. I will read it in English and Rav Eduardo will do it in Espanol. Amen. Synopsis. The people left Egypt and bondage, but Egypt and bondage did not leave them. This is true for 75% of the world's people. You try to impart wisdom, they say that's nice and keep doing what, they're, what they are doing. You say you're about to drive over a cliff, and they say, what do you know? Stubbornness is good when you can stand on scripture with that stubbornness, but most people cannot, cannot do that. Most people are stubborn for all the wrong reasons. In today's teaching, we're going to look at stubbornness and the two hands in Proverbs. We will then learn about the shofar, Yom Teru, and how to stay away from Rosh Hashanah in the seventh month of the year. Sinopsis. La gente salió de Egipto y la esclavitud, pero Egipto y la esclavitud no los dejó. Esto es cierto para el 75% de las personas del mundo. Tratas de impartir sabiduría. La gente dice que es bueno pero siguen haciendo lo que, está, lo que están haciendo. Puedes decirles, a decirle a alguien que está a punto de conducir sobre un acantilado y te responde, ¿y tú qué sabes? 
La obstinación es buena cuando estás defendiendo las Escrituras con esa terquedad, pero la mayoría de la gente no pueden hacer eso. La mayoría de la gente es terca con razones equivocadas. En la enseñanza de hoy vamos a ver qué es la terquedad y las dos manos en proverbios. A continuación vamos a aprender sobre el Shofar y un terúa y cómo mantenerse alejado de Rosh Hashanah en el séptimo mes del año. Theme number one. Tema número uno. Who are you joined to? In theme one of this Shabbat teaching, we're going to explore the roots of stubbornness. We are going to look at a promise of good that is still valid today. We will also look at how we left Egypt in the physical, but how most did not leave Egypt in their heart, spiritual. We will study how one gets joined to the enemy of Jehovah. For they say in their hearts, the fiery law won't see what is in my heart. Divarim, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 10 through 20 Being stubborn for your Egyptian hearts will lead you lead to eternal death. Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 25, verse 1 through 5. How did this happen? We left Egypt, but Egypt didn't leave us. For following the fire law is, of Jehovah is hard when your heart is in Egypt. Divarim, De De Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 18 and 19. Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 25, verse 5. Metiahu chapter 7, verse 13 through 15. Leaving Egypt in spirit and in truth is hard. It's a hard road but leads to eternal lo life. Mark chapter 9, verse uh, 20 to 24, leaving Egypt and learning how not to be stubborn. One needs trust. But Midbar, Numbers chapter 25, verse 5, Yehoshua, Joshua chapter 24, verse 14 through 16, don't just say the words, leave Egypt in your hearts. Devarim 29, verse 15. Tema número uno, ¿a quiénes estás unido? En el tema 1 de esta enseñanza de Shabbat vamos a explorar las raíces de la terquedad. Vamos a ver una, una promesa de bien que sigue siendo válida hasta hoy. También veremos cómo salimos de Egipto en lo físico, pero cómo la mayoría no dejó. No dejó Egipto en sus corazones espiritualmente. Estudiaremos cómo uno se une al enemigo de Jehová, Porque aquellos dicen en sus corazones que la ley ardiente no verá lo que está en sus corazones. Deuteronomio 29, versículo 10 al 20. Ser necio por sus corazones egipcios, conduce, por sus corazones egipcios, conducirá a la muerte eterna. Números 25, versículo 1 al 5. ¿Cómo sucedió esto? Salimos de Egipto, pero Egipto no nos dejó. ¿Por qué seguir la ley ardiente de Jehová es difícil cuando tu corazón está en Egipto? Deuteronomio 29, versículo 18 al 19, Números 25, versículo 5, Mateo 7, versículo 13 al 15, dejando Egipto en espíritu y en verdad es un camino duro, pero lleva a la vida eterna. Mar Marco número, capítulo 9, versículo 20 al 24, para dejar Egipto y, y aprender a no ser terco, se necesita confianza. Números 25, versículo 5, Yahosha 24, versículo 14 al 16, no diga simplemente las palabras, casa a Egipto de sus corazones. Deuteronomio 29, versículo 15. Going on to theme number two. Uh, oops, went too far. On one hand and on the other hand. Now we take the Torah lesson and, be, and being joined to Baal Peor and ha, now, have gained, now have we gained wisdom. We're going to go to Proverbs, Mishal, chapter 22, verse 5. Proverbs, chapter 15, verse 19. Divarim, 29, verse 19. Mishal, Proverbs 15, verse 19. Mishal, Proverbs 19, verse 15 and 16. Work to keep as many mitzvot as possible. Yochanan, John 14, verse 10 through 24. He who keeps the mitzvot loves Yeshua, Those who don't love Satan. Mishal 19, verse 16. 1 Yochanan, John, chapter 2, verse 3 through 6. Keep the mitzvah, keep safe, for this shows you really, you are really his child. 1 Yochanan, chapter 5, verse 2 and 3. If you love Jehovah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you will not think doing the commands are burdensome. Tema número 2. En una mano y en, otra, y en la otra mano. Ahora tomamos la lección de la Torah de estar unido a Baal Peor y ahora has ganado sabiduría. Proverbios 25, versículo 5, versículo, Proverbios 15, versículo 19, Deuteronomio 29, versículo 19, Proverbios 15, versículo 19, Proverbios 19, versículo 15 al 16. Trabaje para mantener tan, tantos mis bot como sea posible. Juan, capítulo 14, versículo 10 al 24. El que guarda los mitbot ama a Yeshua. Aquellos que no lo hacen aman a Satanás. Proverbios 19, versículo 16, primera carta de Juan, 
capítulo 2, versículo 3 al 6. Observe la mitzvah. Cuídese porque esto demuestra que usted es realmente su hijo. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 5, versículo 2 al 3. Si amas a Yahweh con todo tu corazón, mente, alma y fuerza, tú no perecerás. No, no pensarás que obedecer los mandamientos son agobiantes. And finally, theme number three is one scripture. Ezekiel 33, verse 1 through 9. A properly trained watchman imparts the proper information. Remember, there are a lot of people afraid of spiders. <laughs> Tema número tres, el shofar del atalaya. Ezequiel 33, versículo 1 al 9. Un vigilante debidamente entrenado imparte la información apropiada. Recuerde que hay mucha gente que le tiene miedo a las arañas. Amén. Amén. <laughs> Does it sound interesting? Suena interesante. Or you don't want to learn about being stubborn. O, o no quieres aprender acerca What de ser bunch of mules? Son mulas. <laughs> Does it sound interesting? Suena interesante. Are you awake this morning? ¿Estás despierto en esta no, mañana? I mean, I can understand at the end of the holy days you might be tired. Puedo entender que al final de los días santos quizás estés cansado. But we haven't even started the holy days yet. Pero aún no hemos empezado los días santos. So let me ask you a question. Déjame te hago una pregunta. Are you interested in learning today? ¿Estás interesado en aprender hoy día? Amen. Amen. All right, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 29, verse 10 through 20. Deuteronomy Deuteronomio, capítulo 29, versículo 10 al 20. This is theme number one. Who are you joined to? Este es el tema número uno. ¿A quién estás unido? Deuteronomio 29, Deuteronomio 29. Deuteronomio 29. Verse 10 through 20. Versículo 10 al 20. This section is called being stubborn for your Egyptian hearts will lead to eternal death. Este tema se titula ser terco por tus corazones egipcios, los, porque tus corazones egipcios lo conducirán a la muerte eterna. Today you are standing, all of you, before Jehovah your Elohim, your heads, your tribes, your leaders, your officers, all the men of Israel, along with your little ones, your wives, and your foreigners here with you in your camp, from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws the water. The purpose is that you should enter into a covenant of Jehovah your Elohim and into his oath, which Jehovah your Elohim is making with you today. So that he can establish you today for himself a people. And so that you, he will be Elohim. And he said to you, as he swore to your ancestor, to Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. But I am not making this covenant and this oath only with you. Rather, I'm making it both with him who is standing here with us today, before Jehovah Elohim, and also with him who is not here with us today. For you know how we lived in the land of Egypt and how we came directly through the nations you passed through. And you saw the detestable things and their idols of wood, stone, silver, or gold that they had, had with them. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah our Elohim to go and serve the gods of those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood if there is such a person when he hears the words of this curse he will bless himself secretly saying to himself I will be all right even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing so that I although dry will be added to the water watered but Jehovah will not forgive him rather The anger and jealousy of Jehovah will blaze up against that person. Every curse written in this book will be upon him. Jehovah will blot out his name from under heaven. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. In this passage, en este pasaje, we have two hands. Tenemos dos manos. On one hand, if you do one thing, en una mano vamos a hacer una cosa, you're going to be blessed. Vas a, vas a bendecir. And then you have the other hand. Y tienes la otra mano. The, with God, that's one lesson you want to learn today. Esta es, uh, esta es una lección tú vas a aprender hoy día. Okay, we're going to start our lesson. Vamos a empezar una lección. Write down the two-hand theory. Escribe las dos teorías de la mano. It's not on the notes. No están en las notas. <laughs> <laughs> Write down in your own notes. Escriben tus propias notas. The two hand theory. Las dos manos, la teoría de las dos manos. And then write choices. Y también eh, escribe elecciones. Okay, write down the two hand theory. Escribe las, la teoría de las dos manos. And choices. 
y elecciones. Our king is always giving us choices. Nuestro rey siempre nos está dando elecciones. Okay, so we're going to learn about two hands today. Vamos a aprender acerca de las dos manos. Let's start with the first hand. Empecemos con la primera mano. The promise in verse 14 and 15. La promesa en el versículo 14 y versículo 15. Verse 14 and 15, you might want to underline this in your Bibles. If you have your own Bible, underline it. Si tienes tu propia Biblia, uh, márcalas en tu, en tu propia Biblia. And if you don't have a Bible, y si no tienes una take Biblia, a Bible and make it your own. It's free. Toma una Biblia y haz y que sea tuya. Okay, es take that Bible home. Llévate esa Biblia a la casa. Okay, so you have your own Bible, okay? Si no tienes tu propia Biblia, así verse, vas a tener tu Biblia. Verse 14 and 15. Versículo 14 y 15. When I am not making this covenant and this oath only with you, rather I am making it both with him who is standing here with us today before Jehovah Elohim, and also with him who is not here with us today. Amen. This is one of the most beautiful passages of Scripture. Este es uno de los uh, pasajes más hermosos de las escrituras. What everybody in the world should cling to these two scriptures, these two verses. Cuando cuando todos todos en el mundo se están aferrando a estas dos escrituras. Jehovah says in verse 14. Jehovah dice en el versículo 14. I am not making this covenant only with the people who lived long ago. Yo no estoy haciendo esto este pacto solo con la gente que ha vivido mucho tiempo atrás. I'm not just making this covenant with those people that lived for thousand years ago. Yo no estoy haciendo este pacto solo con la gente que vivió 400 a uh, 4000 años atrás. But I'm making this promise. Pero yo estoy haciendo esta promesa. With us here today. Con, con, con nosotros aquí hoy día. Look at verse 15 again. Mira el versículo 15 otra vez. Rather I'm making it both with him who is standing here with us today before Jehovah Elohim and also with him who is not here with us today. Amen. 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 That's a beautiful promise. Es una promesa muy hermosa. For the promises of Jehovah stand forever. Porque las, las promesas de Jehovah están ahí para siempre. Let me say that again. Déjame otra you vez. might want to write it in your own notes. Quizás quieres escribir en tus propias the notas. promises of Jehovah stand forever. Las promesas de Jehovah permanecen para siempre. The promises of Jehovah stand forever. Las promesas de Jehovah permanecen para siempre. The promises of Jehovah stand forever. Las promesas de Jehovah permanecen para siempre. Now let's be interactive like like this was college. Interactivemos como si esto fuera la universidad. Stacy, let me ask you the first question. Déjame te hago una pregunta. What are some promises of good that stand forever from God? ¿Cuáles son las unas promesas a buenas promesas que permanecen con Jehovah? I will never leave you or forsake you. Amen? Nunca te dejaré ni te olvidaré. Claudia, what is another promise of God that you can count on forever? ¿Cuál es otra promesa de Dios que tú puedes contar con para siempre? If you believe in Yeshua, you will have salvation. Amen? Si tú crees en Yeshua, vas a, a tener salvación. Jose! What do you think? It's too early to be going to sleep yet. Okay? Got to at least make a half hour, okay? So I'm going to call you now. Jose, what are some of the promises of God that you can count on? What? He's going to always be there, amen? Siempre va a estar ahí. Daniel. Well, why, why do you want to remember Shabbat? What is the promise of God for Shabbat? ¿Cuál es la promesa de Dios para el Shabbat? Blessings. If you keep Shabbat, blessings. You might want to be writing these things down, guys. Si mantienes las bendiciones, si mantienes el Shabbat, vas a recibir muchas JD, bendiciones. JD, what are, some of the, what are the, some of the things that you can count on by God? If you follow His commandments, He's going to bless you in the land where you go. Si tú sigues los, los mandamientos, vas a ser bendecido en la tierra donde tú vayas. Some of the other things that you can count on, everybody. Otra de las cosas en la que tú puedes that contar. That these promises stand forever. Que estas promesas permanecen por, para siempre. The promises of provisions. Las promesas de provisiones. You will always have something to eat. Siempre vas a tener alimentos o algo para, para comer. You will always have something to eat. Siempre vas a tener algo para comer. The promises. Las promesas. You will always have food, water, clothing, and shelter. Siempre vas a tener comida, agua y refugio. Food, water, clothing, and shelter. A home. Comida, refugio uh, y una casa. Para la casa. 
Okay, he will always be with you. Siempre él va a estar contigo. The promises Las promesas of riches de riquezas for those children of the covenant. Para esos niños del pacto. The promises Las promesas if you're keeping the, the mitzvot, the commandments si mantienes los, los, los mandamientos, los, los mandamientos of safety de, de seguridad security seguridad power and might Poder y mente. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Safety. Seguridad. Security as in nobody's going to rob you. Una seguridad que nadie te va a hacer daño, nadie te va a robar. Power and might. Poder y, y fuerza. Here's another promise if you keep his commandments. Aquí hay otra, otra también, otra bendición que si mantienes sus From, mandamientos. If you're not stubborn. Si no eres necio. And you follow his commandments. Y sigues sus mandamientos. Here's another promise. Aquí está otra promesa. That when your enemies are attacking you, que cuando tus enemigos te estén atacando, they will flee in seven directions. Ellos huirán en siete por siete direcciones. That you will overcome them. Que tú vas a, a, a hacer vas a perseguirlos, they vas a sobrepasar a ellos. They will attack you in one direction. Ellos van a atacar en una dirección. And they will run away from you in seven directions. Ellos se huirán de ti en siete direcciones. Look at verse 15 again. Mira el versículo 15 otra vez. Rather I am making it both with him who is standing here with us today before Jehovah Elohim and also with him who is not with us here today. Amen. This promise Esta promesa is still valid worldwide aún sigue eh, en validez alrededor del mundo as it is today como lo es hoy día because God knew porque el Señor sabía that we would not be living in the land of Israel for the last 2000 years que no íbamos a estar viviendo en la tierra en, en la tierra de Israel por los 2000 años he knew that we would be scattered all over the globe él, él sabía que íbamos a estar esparcidos por todo el mundo he knew that we would go to spain él sabía que íbamos a ir a españa and then the jews would leave spain and come to then what was called new spain mexico y lo, los judíos que dejaron España fueron donde se llama la Nueva España en México. Okay, and then they went through all Central and South America. Y fue y fueron a, al centro y Sudamérica. So the promises are for us also today. Las promesas también son para nosotros hoy en día. And how can I say that? Y cómo yo puedo decir eso? Because Jehovah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Porque Jehová es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. I can, you can count on that from our king. Tú puedes contar con eso de nuestro rey. He is a great and mighty king. Él es un rey uh, grande y poderoso. And he never breaks his word. Y nunca él quebranta su, su palabra. Or any of his commandments or covenants. O, o alguno de sus mandamientos o pactos. Now he's not like human beings who are always breaking their word. Él no es como un, un humano que, que quebranta la, las palabras. Now we're going to move back to verse 10 and 11. Vamos a regresar a ver el versículo 10 y 11. We're going to see something very interesting. Vamos a mirar algo muy interesante. That these promises. Que estas promesas. Are not exclusive to living in Israel que no son exclusivas para los que viven en Israel or just the Jewish people o para solo la gente judía look at verse 10 and 11 please mira el versículo 10 y 11 today you are standing all of you before Jehovah your Elohim your heads your tribes your leaders your officers all the men of Israel along with your little ones your wives and your foreigners here with you in your camp from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water. Amen? Amen. We see here in verse 11. Estamos viendo aquí en el versículo 11. And you might want to underline it in your Bible. Quizás quieras a sobresaltar en tu Biblia. The promise extends to the goyim. La, las promesas también se extienden hacia los goyim. The promise extends to the goyim. Las promesas extienden hasta los goyim. Write down in your notes, everybody. Escribe eso en tus notas. The promise extends to to the goyim. Las promesas extienden hasta los goyim. The promise extends to the goyim. Las promesas extienden hasta los goyim. The promise extends to the goyim. Las promesas ex se extienden hasta los goyim. And how, salute. And how does that happen? ¿Y cómo sucede esto? See, when the goyim leaves their own personal Egypt, cuando el goyim deja su propio uh, Egipto, when you leave bondage, cuando él deja el cautiverio, of man-made ways, de los de los caminos o de las obras hechas por hombre, to walk with Jehovah, para caminar con Jehovah, the promises of Jehovah are also for you. 
Las promesas de Jehová también son para ti. And it is very clear in verse 11. Y es muy claro en el versículo 11. And when, let's read 10 and 11 again. Leamos otra vez el versículo 10 y 11. Today you are standing, all of you, before Jehovah your Elohim, your heads, your tribes, your leaders, your officers, all the men of Israel, along with the little ones, your wives, and your foreigners here with you in your camp, from the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water. Amen. Amen. So we see very clearly Vemos aquí muy claramente, it, is all, it is for Israel, es para Israel but it is also for the Gentiles. Pero también es para los gentiles. When you leave the pagan church cuando dejas la iglesia pagana, when you leave pagan garbage teachings cuando dejas toda esa basu esa enseñanza que es basura, and you want to follow what the truth is y quieres seguir a lo que es la verdad. and what is the truth? ¿Cuál es la verdad? Everybody now sing it, sing it now. Where's Moses? Oh, oh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah, Moses sang the song. <laughs> 600, when you leave the pagan world, Cuando tú dejas el mundo pagano, and you, you're not being stubborn anymore, y no estás siendo terco más. if you're a Gentile, tú eres un gentil. and you say, I'm going to follow the laws that are apply to me yo voy a seguir las leyes que, que se aplican a mí. then the promises of God are for you entonces las promesas de Dios son para ti But it's interesting also about verse 11, lo que es muy interesante también el versículo 11 he does not treat the goyim él no trata a los goyim as a second class citizen. como gente de segunda clase Let me say that again. He he does not treat the goyim él no trata a los goyim as low class. como una clase baja that the Jew is here and the goyim is below him como si los judíos estuvieran alto um, arriba y los judíos estuvieran abajo de los judíos. God himself is saying this. El Señor en sí mismo él está diciendo esto Torah, en su Torá. That if you follow in spirit and in truth, si tú sigues en espíritu y verdad, that everything good from heaven is available to you. Que todo lo todo lo que está en el cielo es, está disponible para ti. Anyone worshiping in spirit, cada persona que está adorando en espíritu, and In truth, y en verdad. That's the hard part. Esa es la parte dura. Because remember, God's got a microphone in your brain. Recuerda que Dios tiene un micrófono en tu cerebro. And everything you think. Y todo lo que tú piensas. Everything you think. Todo lo que tú pienses. Everything you think. Woo! Todo lo que tú pienses. Is being recorded by the secret service. Está siendo grabado por el servicio secreto. The YSS. El servicio secreto. The YSS, el servicio Yeshua's secreto. secret service. Y el, el servicio secreto de Yeshua. Got a microphone in your brain. El, tienes un micrófono en tu en tu cabeza. Martin, he's got a microphone in your brain. El, tiene un micrófono en tu Miriam, cabeza. Miriam, when Martin's getting on your last nerve. Cuando se pone en, en tu último nervio. It's being recorded. Está siendo grabado. When your other daughter is being a cabeza de papa. Cuando está tus hijos siendo cabeza de papa. Because they made one week in a row. Porque cumplieron una semana. Okay. The Lord is recording what you're saying. El Señor está grabando, archivando todo lo que tú estás diciendo. But we start out this teaching today, everybody. Pero empezamos esta enseñanza hoy día. With a great promise. Con una promesa grande. When he said, it's not just for you. Cuando lo, lo que él dice que no es solo para ti. It's not just for those standing here today. No es solo para aquellos que están aquí hoy día. The promise is for those that are not with us here today. La promesa también es para aquellos que no están aquí hoy día. I cling tightly to that sitziot. Yo me, me, me aferro tanto a ese sitio. I live my life according to that. Yo, de mi vida, yo vivo mi vida de, de once, acuerdo a eso. And when some pagan Gentile said to me yesterday, y cuando algún gentil pagano me dice algo como ayer, when this pagan Gentile said to me yesterday, cuando este gentil pagano me dijo esto ayer, that the word of God was written by some man, que la palabra de Dios fue escrita por un hombre, I take offense to that. Yo me ofendí en eso. I take offense to that. Yo tomé ofensivo eso. Because I'm 
living my whole life according to these promises. Porque yo vivo toda mi vida de acuerdo a estas promesas. So what did you think I said to the person? So qué piensas que le dije a esta persona? You pagan piece of garbage. Tú pagano pedazo de basura. Don't you ever say that about my family's book ever again? No digas, uh, no no vuelvas a decir eso Because acerca del libro de mi familia. Because I I count on these promises. Porque yo cuento con estas promesas. I live according to these promises. Yo vivo de acuerdo a estas promesas. And you as a pagan Gentile, y tú como un gentil pagano, you don't have any promises. Tú no tienes ninguna promesa. But my God, pero mi Dios, He would welcome you in if you stop being stubborn in your heart. Él te daría la bienvenida si dejas de ser terco en, en tu en tu, en tu inés y en tu corazón. What is so beautiful about verse 10? Lo que es hermoso es en el versículo 10 y 11. This is for everybody. Que esto es para todos. God loves everybody. Dios ama a todos. But he doesn't like our stubbornness. Pero no le gusta a él la terquedad. He said if you want to follow me in spirit and in truth. Pero él dice si me quieres seguir a mí en espíritu y verdad. Anyone desiring todo aquel que desee to leave pagan garbage behind que dejar toda esa esa basura atrás and walk with God. Y caminar con Dios. He says I see what you're doing. Y él dice yo 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 veo lo que estás haciendo. I'm going to rain down some blessings from heaven for you. Yo voy, a, yo voy a hacer que yo bendiciones para ti. How many people want that? ¿Cuánta gente quiere eso? How many eso? people would like a few more blessings today? ¿Cuánta gente quería un, un poco más de bendiciones hoy día? I want some more blessings. Yo quiero más bendiciones. That means eso significa anyone Jew or Gentile cualquiera judío o gentil who leaves Egypt behind quien deja a Egipto atrás has the promise of this incredible gift tiene una promesa de este regalo increíble but a lesson to be learned pero la lección que se va a aprender a lesson to be learned la lección que se va a aprender write this next lesson down escribe esta otra lección I can't have a divided heart yo no puedo tener un corazón dividido I can't have a divided heart no puedo tener un corazón dividido I can't have a divided heart. No puedo tener un corazón dividido. See, if you want to have one foot in the world, si tú tienes un pie en el mundo, and one foot in God, y un pie en Dios, that is a divided heart. Eso es un corazón dividido. And God knows what's in your heart. Y el Señor conoce lo que hay en tu corazón. And the thing about God, the thing about Jehovah, la, lo que la cosa de Jehová, the thing about Jehovah, la, la cosa de Jehová, he's jealous. Él es celoso. He's jealous. Él es celoso. He's jealous. Él es celoso. Write down God is jealous. Escribe esto, Dios es celoso. Write down God is jealous. Dios es celoso. In this marriage, en este matrimonio, he will not tolerate. Él no tolerará. He will not tolerate. Él no tolerará. A bride who is obedient on the outside, a una novia que es obediente en lo exterior, and has a heart for other gods on the inside. Y tiene un corazón para otros dioses en lo interior. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra In vez. In this marriage to God, en este matrimonio con Dios, he will not tolerate. Él no tolerará. He will not tolerate él no tolerará a bride who is obedient on the outside una novia que es obediente en lo exterior but in her hearts pero en su corazón in their hearts en sus corazones they want to follow other gods on the inside quieren seguir a otros dioses en lo interior look at verse 11 please mira el versículo 11 verse 11 versículo 11 along with your little ones your wives your foreigners here with you in your camp from the one who chops the wood to the one who draws the water. Amen? Amen. Jehovah is so loving. Yeah, Jehovah is muy amoroso. He made a covenant with Jew and Gentile. Él hizo un pacto con un judío y un gentil. But what else do we see in this verse? Pero qué más estamos viendo en este versículo? What else do we see in this verse? Qué más estamos viendo en estos versículos? We see versículos? something very interesting. Vemos algo muy interesante. He says, I am also making this covenant to the rich and the poor. Dice que también estás estoy haciendo este este pacto con el con el rico y con el pobre. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra Jehovah vez. Jehovah is saying in verse 11. Jehovah está diciendo en el versículo 11. He's making it this covenant to rich and poor alike. Que él también está haciendo este pacto con el rico y con el pobre. And how do you know that? Y co, y cómo sabemos Look esto? at the second half of the sentence everybody. Mira la segunda parte del del versículo. From the one who chops your wood to the one who draws your water. Amen. Amen. Okay? You got to hire somebody Tú tienes que contratar a alguien to chop the wood para que corte la, la madera. So that means you're richer. Eso significa que eres rico. But if you're drawing the water, 
Pero si tú estás sacando el agua, if you're one who's drawing water, si tú eres uh, alguien que está sacando el agua, or the one who's a slave for chopping the wood, o de alguien que, que es esclavo que está cortando la madera, that means you're poor. Eso significa que eres pobre. But the Lord is saying here, pero el Señor está diciendo aquí, you and Gentile get the promise. Los dos, ambos judíos y gentil, both rich, la promesa. both rich and poor get the same promise. Los dos, el rico y el pobre tienen la misma la, pro, la promesa. The reason is, la razón es, God loves everyone equally. Que Dios ama a todos de igual manera. Write God, write down. God loves everyone equally. Dios ama a todos de la misma manera. God loves everyone equally. Dios ama a todos igual. He just doesn't like the sin that we live in. Él, a él no le gusta en, en el pecado en que vivimos. He doesn't like people being stubborn. A él no le gusta la gente que sea terca. When he says to do something like keep the Shabbat holy, cuando te dice él que hagas algo como mantener el sábado santo, signing a book at, on Shabbat, selling books on the Shabbat is wrong. Vendiendo libros en un Shabbat eso es malo. Because you're not to do any business on Shabbat. Porque no tienes que hacer no tienes que hacer ningún tipo de negocios en Shabbat. So when you're stubborn, cuando tú eres terco, and you don't follow God's ways, y no sigues los caminos de Dios, then the promises are then taken away from you. Entonces las promesas se te van a ser quitadas. When you don't want to listen, cuando no quieres escuchar, but you may live. Pero quizás tú vivas. You, know, you may live. Quizás tú vivas. Did Cain live? ¿Acaso Caín vivió? Cain killed Abel, right? ¿Recuerda que Caín mató a Abel? Did he live? Él vivió. He lived out his life. Él vivió su vida. And he, you know, he had food to eat. Él tuvo comida para comer. He had children. Él tuvo hijos. But he never got back into the presence of the Lord. Pero él nunca regresó a la presencia del Señor. So look at verse 11 again. Mira el versículo 11 otra vez. Along with your little ones, your wives, your foreigners here with you in, in your camp from the one who chops your wood To the one who draws the water, amen? amen. So here, Jew and Gentile, Aquí, un judío y gentil, because the little ones are the Jews, porque los pequeños son judíos, the wives are the Jews, las, las mujeres son but judías, then, it says, then it says foreigner. Pero después dice extranjeros. Okay? And then it says rich y después dice rico, and poor. Y pobre. Now we're beginning our lessons with understanding this. Empezamos esta enseñanza entendiendo esto. Because there's a lot of messianic congregations. Porque hay muchas congregaciones mesiánicas. That do not teach like this. Que no enseñan como aquí. We teach that we're 100% legalistic and happy about it. Aquí ens enseñamos que somos 100% legalistas y estamos contentos de eso. We're not, you know, you're legal, you're legalistic. Thank you. You know this. Cuando te dicen tú eres legalista, tú le dices gracias. Because my, my father in heaven would never give me something bad. Porque mi Padre en el cielo no me daría algo malo. But what we also teach here, Pero también lo que enseñamos aquí not being taught in many messianic congregations, que no se eh, enseña que no se enseña en otras congregaciones mesiánicas that is very clear in verse 11, que es muy claro en el versículo 11 that the law is for everybody. que la ley es para todos. Okay, the church teaches the law is dead. La iglesia enseña que la ley está muerta. Because it stopped at the cross. Porque se detuvo en la cruz. Well, then God is a liar here. Entonces Dios está mintiendo, es un mentiroso. Then the promises aquí. of God here in Deuteronomy are not valid today. Entonces las promesas que encontramos aquí en Deuteronomio, las promesas de Dios no son válidas hoy día. I believe that Jehovah is the same yesterday, today and forever and so is his son. Yo creo que Jehová es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre y también es su hijo. I believe his promises are still valid today. Yo creo que sus promesas aún es, aún tienen validez hoy en día. Now look at verse 12. Mira el versículo 12. The purpose is that you should enter into a covenant of Jehovah your Elohim and into his oath which Jehovah your Elohim is making with you today. Mm. Amen. Amen. So the Lord says I want to enter into a covenant. El Señor está diciendo yo quiero entrar en un pacto. What is a covenant? ¿Qué es un pacto? What is a covenant? ¿Qué es un pacto? I'm going to read a very long definition. Voy a leer una definición muy amplia. In English and Rabbi Eduardo will do it in Espanol. Amen. Okay, uh, the word covenant is H1285, H1285, Barit, it is a Bet, Resh, Yod, Tav, Barit, okay, or Barit, whichever way you want to say it. Now, definition number one is covenant, alliance, pledge, treaty, that's just definition number one. Number two, constitution, Ordinance, meaning monarch to subject, a king to its subject. 
Agreement, pledge, man to man. That's number two. Number three, alliance of friendship, alliance of marriage, alliance of friendship again. Number four, covenant, divine ordinance with signs or pledges, covenant violation. Go ahead, Rabbi Ed. La palabra para pacto, alianza, es buried. Su definición, uno, pacto, alianza, promesa, tratado. Número dos, constitución, ordenanza, monarca a los súbditos, acuerdo, promesa, de hombre a hombre. Número tres, alianza de amistad, alianza de matrimonio, alianza de amistad. Número cuatro, pacto, ordenanza divina, con signos o promesas, violación del pacto. So in this covenant, en esta alianza, what we understand from be the word berit, lo que entendemos por la palabra berit, okay, it means that he's going to give eso significa que él, nos, él va a entregar what each person has to do in the covenant. lo que cada persona tiene que hacer en esa alianza, en See, ese pacto. A, that's why at a, at a, a Hebrew wedding, es por eso que una boda hebrea We do something when we sign something called a ketuba. Cuando nos firmamos algo, algo que se llama la ketuba. It gives the rules of what is expected of the husband. Está entregando las reglas que es, que, que el esposo uh, lo que se espera del esposo. Mom, you've taken the class three times. <laughs> Six. Okay. <laughs> so in the covenant, in en, in the marriage, en el matrimonio, in this ketuba, en esa ketuba. Written down que ha sido escrita, is all the things that the husband is going to provide for his wife. Está escrito que el esposo va a proveer para su esposa. Let me say that again. Déjame repito. In a Hebrew wedding, en una boda hebrea, in the thing called the ketuba, y lo que se llama la ketuba, it is written down in the ketuba. Está escrito everything that the husband is going to provide for his wife. Está escrito todo lo que el esposo va a proveer Would a su like esposa. Would you like to see a ketuba? ¿Te gustaría ver una ketuba? Anybody want to see a ketuba? ¿Quieren ver una ketuba? There. There's a ketuba. Ahí está la ketuba. Okay. This is the Torah. Esa es la Torah. It is God's ketuba to us. Es la ketuba de Dios a, a nosotros. He said we are supposed to be the bride of him. Él dice que nosotros debe, deberíamos ser su esposa. We are supposed to be his bride. Nosotros debemos ser su esposa. The bride also understands what she is supposed to do. La esposa también entiende lo que ella está supuesta hacer. In this marriage, en este matrimonio, the husband understands his role. El esposo entiende su papel. And his constitution to his wife. Y su constitución para su esposa. So the Lord is saying, I'm going to make a covenant with you. El Señor dice, yo voy a hacer una alianza contigo. If you do your job, si tú haces tu trabajo, I will provide the rain. Yo proveeré la lluvia. If you do your job, si tú haces tu trabajo, I will provide food from heaven. Yo proveeré comida del cielo. If you do your job, si tú haces tu trabajo, nobody will attack you. Nadie te atacará. If you do your job, si tú haces tu trabajo, you will not want for anything. Tú no vas a necesitar nada. If you do your job, si tú haces tu trabajo, you will have children. Tú tendrás hijos. Many children. Muchos hijos. And this is good to have many children. Y esto es bueno tener muchos hijos. And you will not have to worry about money. No, y no deberás preocuparte de dinero. If God, if you are in a, in a covenant with God, si tú estás en una alianza con Dios, this alliance of friendship, number three, alliance alianza, of friendship, esta alianza de amistad. If you are friends with God, si tú eres amigo con Dios, if you don't Be stubborn against his laws. Si tú no estás uh, siendo necio con, en contra de sus leyes. Yeshua says, I call you friends. Yeshua dice, yo te llamo amigo. I call you friends. How many want to be a friend of God? Yeshua nos llama amigos. ¿Quién, I want to be a friend ustedes? of God. Quiero ser amigo de Dios. Maybe he'll buy some ice cream. <laughs> nos compra helados. You know, like black, black raspberry or you know, chocolate chip man or something like that. <laughs> heavenly hash. Kosher <laughs> heavenly hash. Okay. Cualquier tipo de lado. Well, you, oh, Jehovah is saying this covenant. Lo que Jehovah está diciendo aquí en este pacto. I'm giving you this constitution number two. Yo te estoy entregando esta constitución. From the king to the subject. De del rey hacia el súbdito. Number two. Desde, doing number two. Desde el rey From hacia el súbdito. From the king to the subject. De, desde del rey hacia el súbdito. I'm going to tell you what, as a king, I'm going to do for you. Como rey, yo te voy a decir qué es lo que voy a hacer por ti. As long as you do what I ask. Mientras tú hagas lo que yo te pido. You will be my subject, God says. Tú serás mi súbdito, dice you Dios. You will be my friend. Tú serás mi amigo. 
But if you violate it, Pero si tú violas if esto, you want to be stubborn, si quieres ser terco, he's going to also tell you what happens if you're stubborn. También te va a decir qué es lo que te va a suceder si tú eres terco. But what mostly he's saying in the in the berit, pero lo que más está diciendo aquí en el berit, is what responsibilities you have. Es de qué responsabilidades tú tienes. Write down what responsibilities do I have. Qué responsa escribe esto. Qué responsabilidades tengo yo. What responsibilities do I have? Qué responsabilidades tengo right, yo. Let's, say, let's say, be a little bit more interactive again. Like we're in college, a professor is going to call on you. Como en el colegio, interactivemos algo. Ellen, what responsibilities do you have as a grandmother? Qué responsabilidades tienes tú como abuela? To teach your grandchildren the Torah. Enseñar a los a los nietos la Torah. Okay, Betsy, what? Betsy, Betsy. What respond? What? No, you're gonna say something different. What other responsibilities? You're a wife. You're a mom. You're a grandma. ¿Qué otras responsabilidades tienes? Tú eres una esposa, una madre y una. You're a nurse's aide. Okay. What responsibilities in God do you have? ¿Qué responsabilidades en Dios tienes tú? You got to teach people close to you the Torah. Tengo que enseñar enseñar a la gente que está cerca de mí la Torah. Consuelo, comforter. What do you got to do besides be a pain in the neck? No, you're you're now a wife of a couple of years, a mom of a couple of years. What responsibilities in God do you have as a wife? ¿Qué responsabilidades para Dios tienes tú como ma como esposa? Everybody look at her. <laughs> <laughs> What responsibilities? Pray for your husband. Wives, pray for your husband. Esposas, oren por sus esposos. Okay. Elizabeth, what responsibilities as a mom, as an employee? What, what, what responsibilities as an employee, but a God fear do you have at work? ¿Qué responsabilidades tienes como madre y como, como empleada? So you mean throwing down the phone is not okay? <laughs> Cursing at work is not okay? Taking 20 minutes when you're only supposed to have 15 is not okay? Okay. What, now write down everybody, what responsibilities do I have? Escribe esto, ¿qué responsabilidades tengo yo? Look at your life. Mira tu vida. And how many hats do you wear? ¿Y cuántas gorras, sombreros tú utilizas? What sombreros? sombreros. Okay. So think of like like I said Betsy. Bet Betsy's a daughter. Sarahara. Okay, yo, she's yo, a daughter. Yo digo Betsy es hija. She she. <laughs> so, hi Sarahara. Okay. Okay. She's a, a wife to Oscar. Esa es una esposa para Oscar. She's a mom. Es madre. She's a grandmother. Es una abuela. She's an employee. Es empleada. She's a, 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 a dance worshiper. Eh, ella le gusta danzar. Think to yourself. What, respond, what hats do I wear? Piensa tú. What qué, jobs? Trabajo. ¿Qué sombrero o qué oficio yo, yo, yo tengo? What jobs do I have to do? ¿Qué trabajos, qué oficios tengo yo? Now, as you get older, you get more jobs. Mientras tú sigues a creciendo, envejeciendo, tú vas a, ser, as you, a tener más trabajo. As you move up in business, you get more responsibility. Si tú estás siguiendo adelante en negocios, tú vas a tener más responsabilidad. So ask yourself today. Pregúntate a ti. What are my responsibilities to God? ¿Cuáles son mis responsabilidades hacia and Dios? For God. Y para Dios. What are my responsibilities to God? ¿Qué responsabilidades son son para Dios? And for God. Y para Dios. Example: How do we follow the commandments? Y all of them. Por Dios y para Dios y cómo seguimos los mandamientos. If we follow all the commandments. Si seguimos todos los mandamientos. All of them, Jehovah said. Todo lo que Jehovah dice. He will bring the proper amount of sun and rain to your garden. Él traerá el amonto apropiado de de sol y lluvia a tu jardín. If we follow the commandments, si seguimos los mandamientos, Jehovah said I will bring the proper amount of rain to your crops. Jehovah dice que yo voy a traer el amonto apropiado de sol y lluvia a tus a tus cosechas. When we raise God-fearing children, cuando cre cuando uh, crecemos a niños temerosos de Dios, then they become godly leaders. Entonces ellos se van a convertir en líderes uh, de Dios. Unlike many of our politicians today. 
como, no, como muchos de nuestros políticos they, hoy día. They do not, no como muchos que no siguen. Fear God. Que no siguen a, a Dios. Okay. And also, y también, when you don't raise your child up with fear of God, cuando tú no creces a tu hijo temen, temiendo a Dios, we see in the book of Kings and Chronicles, vemos en el libro de Reyes y Crónicas, we see many bad kings in Israel, vemos muchos uh, reyes malos en Israel, and they worship foreign gods, y ellos uh, que se están ad ad adoraban a otros dioses. Now let's see the reminder Jehovah points to in verse 16 and 17. De, recordemos esto lo que Jehová está apuntando esto en el versículo 16 y 17 he knows and records your every thought. porque Él conoce y Él, y él graba todo Go to verse 16 and 17. de tus pensamientos vamos Deuteronomy al versículo 29, Deuteronomio 29 verse 16 and 17. versículo 16 y 17 for you know how we lived in the land of Egypt how we came directly through the nations you passed through and you saw their detestable things their idols of wood, stone, silver and gold that they had had with them. Amen? Amen. In verse 16, en el versículo 16, it's the recorded message. Es un mensaje grabado. The Torah is reminding them La Torah les está haciendo recuerdo where you came from. De donde tú viniste. Where you came from. De donde viniste. And those that died in the desert that were not part of the promise anymore. Y aquellos que murieron en el desierto que no son parte de la promesa. What, and what we need to deeply Understand today. Y lo que necesitamos entender muy profundo. We need to understand all this today. Necesitamos entender todo esto hoy día. As we get ready for the fall Moedim, the fall holy days. Como como nos estamos alistando para los las fiestas de del otoño. That we used to live in Egypt. Que solíamos vivir en Egipto. That we used to be slaves to man. Solíamos ser esclavos a, al hombre. We need to understand this for the fall holy days. Necesitamos entender todo esto para los los días Días santos Because the fall holy days are what? Porque los días santos a promise, de son? a promise is for us and them. Son una promesa que son para nosotros y para ellos. But we read this passage. Pero leemos este pasaje. Because it said for those not standing with us today. Porque dice para aquellos que que no están aquí con nosotros. Look at verse 16 and 17 again. Let's go into that. Miremos el versículo 16 y 17. Miremos acerca de eso. For you know how we lived in the land of Egypt and how we came directly through the nations you passed through. And you saw their detestable things and their idols of wood, stone, silver, and gold that they had with them. Amen? Amen. How did we live in Egypt? ¿Y cómo, ¿Cómo vivimos en Egipto? How did we live in Egypt? ¿Cómo vivimos en Egipto? We lived under grace in Egypt. Vivimos bajo la gracia en Egipto. What do you mean we lived under grace in Egypt? ¿Qué quieres decir eso? Que vivimos bajo la gracia en Egipto. Why do I say we lived under grace in Egypt, Stacy? ¿Por, ¿Por qué yo digo que vivimos bajo, vivimos bajo la gracia en Egipto? Susan. You yeah, but we were under grace. That we could have been destroyed. Pues estuvimos viviendo bajo la gracia, pudimos haber sido destruidos. We were under grace that we weren't destroyed. Hmm. No. Okay. But, uh, Darwin. Why do I say we lived under grace in Egypt? ¿Por qué decimos que vivimos bajo la gracia en Egipto? We were doing things that we weren't supposed to? Hacíamos cosas que no debíamos hacer. How do we know we weren't supposed to do them? ¿Cómo sabíamos que no, de, no debíamos hacer eso? Vicky! Vicky! ¿Qué? Vicky, give Vicky a hand! Hey. Woo! <laughs> woo, 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 Vicky. Vicky said that because the Torah was not written on paper yet. Porque la Torah no estaba aún escrita en papel. So we were living under grace. Entonces vivíamos bajo la gracia. Living like disgusting pagan Gentiles. Viviendo como los gentiles repugnantes. Eating disgusting things. Comiendo cosas repugnantes. Worshiping disgusting things. Adorando a cosas repugnantes. Now if we want the covenant. Ahora si queremos el pacto. Now if we want the covenant. Si queremos esa alianza. Each person. Cada persona is in charge of their own heart. Cada persona está a cargo de su propio corazón. Each person is in charge of their own heart. Cada persona está a cargo de su propio corazón. Each person if you want a blessing. Cada persona si quieres bendiciones. From heaven. Del cielo. Each person must 
leave Egypt in their hearts. Cada persona debe dejar a Egipto en su corazón. You must leave Egypt in the physical and the spiritual. Debes dejar a uh, Dejar de Egipto en lo espiritual y en lo físico. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra you vez. You gotta leave Egypt in the physical and the spiritual. Tienes que uh, dejar Egipto en lo físico y en lo espiritual. And that's a lot of work. Y eso es mucho trabajo. And most people are lazy. Y muchas personas son vagas. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Most People are lazy. Muchas personas son vagas. And you're not willing to do the work. Y no están dispuestos a hacer el trabajo. Everybody wants a blessing. Todos quieren bendiciones. But few are willing to work for your blessing. Pero uh, pocos quieren trabajar por las bendiciones. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Everybody wants a blessing. Todos quieren las bendiciones. But few are willing to work for them. Pero unos pocos quieren trabajar por ellas. Father does not give blessings to hypocrites. El padre no entrega bendiciones a los hipócritas. Well, the gay people are bad. Las, los homosexuales son malos. As they eat a ham sandwich. Mientras tú estás comiendo un, un sándwich de jamón. Or, or having shrimp cocktail. O están teni- uh, ten- comiendo un cóctel de camarón. Okay, you can't do it that way. No puedes ser de esa manera. That's hypocrisy. Eso es hipocresía. And Father does not give blessings to hypocrites. Y el Padre no entrega bendiciones a los hipócritas. And he, here's another hypocrite. Aquí hay otro caso. If you're coming to Shabbat to just do your shift. Si vienes a Shabbat solo para uh, asistir y hacer tu turno. Well, what does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? Uh, I, you're saying in your mind, I can't wait till fat guy shuts up. Voy a estar aquí hasta que ese hombre gordo se calle. Oh, and there he goes again talking about the law. Aquí está otra vez hablando acerca de la ley. This is not like last week's message. Last week's message was all happy. No es como el mensaje de la semana pasada. El mensaje de la semana pasada no, era todo feliz. The Lord wants you to focus back on yourselves again. El Señor quiere que se enfoquen otra vez en tus en sus pecados. If you're coming here just to do your shift, go somewhere else. Go to John Con. They only do two hours. Si quieres estar aquí para estar a placentero. Uh, vete a otro lugar <laughs> para el lugar de Jonathan Cano. You know, go to a lot of places. They don't spend all day. Vete a otros lugares. Ahí no, no pasan todo go el día. Go to Beth Masai up in Livingston. They only do a couple hours. Vayas a Beth Masai en Livingston. Ahí solo están un par de horas. Go to Beth Zion down in Jack- Jackson, New Jersey. Ah, Beth Zion. And go to Six Flags. Donde está en Jackson, New Jersey. Te puedes ir a Six Flags. Desde okay. <laughs> But here, if you're just coming to do your shift on Shabbat, pero si tú vienes solo a hacer tu turno en Shabbat, God is not going to bless hypocrites. El Señor no va a bendecir la hipocresía. Do you think Jehovah? Piensas que Jehovah does not hear what's in your heart 24/7. Piensas que Jehovah no está escuchando en tu corazón 24 horas. Uh, siete días de la semana. Do you think Jehovah doesn't hear what's in your heart 24/7? Tú piensas que Jehovah no está uh, es, eh, viendo lo que está en tu corazón 24 horas siete días de la semana. Now why did I say that? ¿Por qué digo eso yo? Look at verse 18, please. Mira el versículo 18, por favor. Look at verse 18. Versículo 18. Devarim, Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 18. Deuteronomio 29, versículo 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away from t- uh, away today from Jehovah our Elohim and goes serve the other serve the other serve the gods of those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. 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 Now here the key to this. Aquí la, la clave para esto. He says, every man or woman. Dice cada hombre o, o mujer. He says, every man or woman. Dice cada hombre o mujer. That means it's personal. Eso significa que es personal. Let me say that again. Déjeme repito otra vez. When the Lord breaks down the categories. Cuando el Señor desglosa las categorías. When he says, man, woman, and gonzo. Cuando él dice, hombre, mujer, y gonzo. That means it's personal. Eso significa que es personal. See, and then he says family. Y después dice familia. So what does why does he say family? ¿Por qué él dice familia? It could be one family starts to do a tradition over Torah. Puede ser que una familia empiece a hacer tradiciones sobre la, eh, en vez de la Torah. One family brings in tradition. Si una una familia trae eh, se 
envuelve en tradiciones. Something like lighting the candles. Algo como encender las velas. Now everybody knows this scene. Let me get my candles out here. Todos conocen la escena. <laughs> Let me get the candles out here. Déjame sacar las velas. Okay. Everybody knows this scene. If you've seen Fiddler on the Roof, right? Okay. One family. Una familia. You know, started this. The, the, the wife. Takes her lighter. La esposa coge el encendedor. On, on Erev Shabbat. En, en Erev Shabbat. Okay. She tries to light her candles. Enciende las velas. And she takes the shmata. Y saca la shmata. And she covers her head. Se cubre, cubre la cabeza. And then what does she do? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? She goes one, two, Uno, dos, three, and then tres. what does she do? ¿Y qué es lo que hace? And then she's uh, and she starts to do this. Y empieza a hacer así. Can anybody tell me where I can find that in the Torah? Puede alguien decirme en, en qué parte de la Torah puede encontrar esto? And also, y también, she lights the candles 18 minutes before sundown. También enciende las velas 18 minutos antes que se oculte el sol. Can anybody tell me where I might find that in the Torah? Puede alguien decirme en dónde pudiera yo encontrar en la Torah? But you see many Jewish people doing this. Pero tú ves a, a muchos gente judía haciendo and, esto. And many messianic people doing this. Y también muchas congregaciones mesiánicas But haciendo I've read esto. the Torah, I can't tell you how many times. Pero yo he leído la Torah y no te puedo decir cuántas Can veces. Can anybody please help me find this? ¿Alguien puede ayudarme a encontrar esto? Look at verse 18. Mira el versículo 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family or tribe whose heart turns away from turns away from Jehovah Elohim to go and serve the gods of the nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. Where did this tradition come from? ¿En don, ¿De dónde viene esta tradición? If it's not in Torah, si no está en la Torah, it must have come from somebody else. Debe venir de algún otro lado. God tells you what He wants. Señor te dice qué es lo que él quiere. So what what happens is this tradition becomes like law. Lo que sucede es que esta tradición se convierte como una ley. And when that becomes the law, y, y cuando eso se convierte en una ley, now the, not just that family's doing it, no solo esta familia que está haciendo, because you go over, you go over to the dinnerman's house, porque te vas a la casa de los dinnermans. Okay, you know, my family, you know, the Orthodox Jews, what what happened? Mi familia judía ortodoxa, ¿qué okay, es lo que sucede? Na, na. May the Lord bless and protect you. May he always keep you from... Come on, everybody sing in the song. <laughs> Everybody's seen Fiddler on the Roof, and if you haven't seen it, I'll play it. You've never seen Fiddler on the Roof, Tiffany? Okay, we're going to have to have a Fiddler on the Roof night. Yes. Okay? No. We'll play it on the big screen. Okay? So they, they they start this tradition. Ellos empiezan con esta tradición. And you're over their house for Shabbat dinner. Y está en tu casa para Shabbat para el dinner de Shabbat, oh, el almuerzo, la cena de Shabbat. So beautiful. Dice, Did oh, you see how godly hermosa. she was? ¿Te viste qué <laughs> cómo estaba ella? Oh, it, I just llena felt shivers coming down my spine. <laughs> estaba llena de Dios. <laughs> I just felt the presence of the Lord. Yo so, yo apercibí la presencia del Señor. No, you didn't. No, no lo hiciste. You felt something, but you didn't know what you were feeling. Tú sentiste algo, pero no, no sabes qué es lo que sentiste. Because where did that, 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 that tradition come from? Pero porque de dónde viene esa tradición? If it's not in Torah, it came from somewhere else. Si no está en la Torah, vino de algún otro lado. Who started lighting candles to worship somebody? ¿Quién empezó a encender velas para adorar a alguien? We're not going to get into that right now. No vamos a eh, mirar eso hoy. But what we are talking about. Pero lo que estamos hablando. Because God's promises are still today. Porque las promesas de Dios aún están hoy we're, día. We're not to let this bitter poison come in to our community. No vamos a dejar que este veneno amargo entre a, a la comunidad. Because the key word in verse 18 Porque la palabra clave en el versículo 18 is the word serve. Es la palabra 
servir. Okay, let's take a look at the word serve. Miremos el significado de la palabra servir. The word serve in the Hebrew, I'm going to read it in, he in English, and Rabbi Eduardo is going to do it in Spanish. It is H5647. It is the Hebrew word abad, I am bet dalit, I am bet dalit. Abad or avad, all depends which way you want to say it. Number one, to work or serve. Number two, to serve as subjects. Number three, to serve God, to serve with Levitical service. Number four, to be worked, be tilled of land. Amen. Significado de la palabra servir es abad, H5647. Su definición número uno, para trabajar, servir. Número dos, servir como sujetos. Número tres, para servir Dios, para servir con servicio levítico. Número cuatro, para ser trabajado, ser cultivada la tierra. So let's look at verse 18 again, everybody. Mira, mira el versículo 18 otra vez. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah our Elohim to go and serve the gods of the, those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. Amen. When a man or woman or community Cuando un hombre, una mujer, o una comunidad starts to go off the narrow road se, se empieza a alejar de ese camino angosto into tradition y, y a las tradiciones it begins to infect like poison into the body empieza a infectar como poner uh, veneno en su cuerpo when you start doing things cuando empiezas a hacer cosas that are not found in the scripture que no se encuentran en las escrituras you can say Abraham did it right there porque tú puedes decir Abraham lo hizo Isaac did it right there Isaac lo hizo ahí. Jacob did it right there. Jacob también lo hizo ahí. The Levites did it right there. Los levitas lo If hicieron ahí. If you can't ahí. say that, si no puedes decir eso, then, then that is that poison that God is talking about in verse uh, 18. Si tú no puedes uh, retractarte con eso o decir eso, es como estar sembrando uh, veneno eh, en el cuerpo. And once that poison is into your body, y una vez que ese veneno esté en tu cuerpo, it begins to infect the body like a virus in your computer. Empieza a infectar el cuerpo como si hubiera un virus en una computadora. Okay, never, anybody ever get a virus in their body like a cold? Alguien ha, ten, ha tenido virus en su cuerpo como una una gripe. And you start to feel a little bad, right? Y te empiezas a sentir mal. You know, you got a little scratchy throat, right? Empieza, empieza a arder la garganta. And then your nose starts running a little bit. Y tu nariz empieza a aguadijar. But it starts out Slowly, pero empieza despacio. The virus starts out slowly. El virus empieza lentamente. Because Satan knows how to play this game. Porque Satanás sabe cómo jugar este este juego. Because remember, he was in the garden. Porque recuerda que él estuvo en el jardín. Did God really say? Acaso Dios no dijo? You would die. Tú morirás. Okay. He just started. Started out slowly. El empezó, empieza lentamente. If he would have started out by saying, si él empe hubiese empezado diciendo, eat the apple, you'll be like God. Come la manzana y vas a ser como Dios. It would change everything, right? Hubiese cambiado todo, ¿verdad? Because then it's a warning, right? Entonces ahí se convierte en una But advertencia. But here God says in verse 18, Pero aquí Dios dice en el versículo 18, Don't let this, this tradition into your house. No permitas que esta tradición entre a tu casa. Because it's a bitter poison. Porque es un veneno amargo. And when a snake bites you, Y cuando una, una serpiente te muerde, It hurts a little bit, but not like a lion biting you. Te duele un poco, no como el mordisco de un león. You know, a snake bites you, eh, right? Stings a little bit. Arde un poco. Arde un poco. But then the poison starts to go through your body. And, pero ahí el veneno empieza a entrar en tu cuerpo. And some snakes that you, their poison. Y algunas serpientes. Is you'll be alive. El veneno de algunas serpientes. But you won't be able to move. Tú vas a estar vivo, pero no te vas a poder mover. Because they they want your 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 heart to keep pumping. Porque eso quieren, ellos quieren que tu corazón siga pompeando, so latiendo, your, your fresh. para poder, para que la carne esté se fresca. But that poison going through your body, Pero ese veneno que está entrando, uh, que está transcurriendo por tu cuerpo, it will start to affect everything else in your life. Empezará a afectar cada cosa en tu vida. Now here in the CJB they have a word missing. 
Aquí en la Biblia completa judía tiene una palabra que está perdida. They have a word missing. Tiene una palabra que The word missing in the CJB. La palabra que está está perdida en la Biblia completa judía. It has the word fruit in the Hebrew. Tiene es la palabra fruta en el hebreo. The fruit is a bitter poison. La fruta es un es un veneno amargo. But the word for fruits. Pero la palabra para fruta is it's not the same word that we see in the garden of eden no es la misma palabra que estamos viendo que la misma fruta que estamos viendo en el jardín del edén it is a different word es diferente una palabra diferente it is the hebrew word h72198 7219 it is resh vav shin rosh it means gall venom bitter poisonous es la palabra resh rosh h7219 que su definición es biliar, veneno, amargo y venenoso. Okay, then it says fruit. Y después de fruta. Okay, and then also has the, the word H605, it is the word para, pe, resh, he, pe, resh, he, para, it means to bear fruit, be fruit off a branch, a branch off, to bear fruit, be fruitful, cause to bear fruit. Su significado para la palabra fruta es H6509, para, su definición, para dar fruto, ser fructífero, ramificar. Número dos, para dar fruto, ser fructífero. Número tres, para hacer que dé fruto. Now let's look at verse 18 now, and then we'll take it apart again. Miremos ahora el versículo 18 y vamos so a... So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah your Elohim. To go and serve the gods of those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison, bitter fruit, and wormwood. Amen? Amen. So what the Lord is saying here, Lo que el Señor está diciendo aquí, don't allow that into your, your family de que no permitas que entre a tu familia. because once one person gets infected with the virus, Porque una vez que una persona se infecte con ese virus, once one person gets infected with the virus, una vez que una persona se infecte con el virus, every person in the family is going to be infected with that pagan virus. Cada persona en la familia se va a infectar con este veneno vi virus pagano. Everybody in the family todos en la familia is going to get infected with that laziness to study God's word. Todos va, se van a infectar con, con esa va, vaguería de estudiar la palabra de Dios. That Vagancia. person, that yeah. person, esa, esa persona, male, female, or family, or tribe, hombre, uh, mujer, familia, o tribu, is going to bring poisonous fruit va a ser una fruta venenosa. that's going to kill the community. Que va a matar a la comunidad. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Did you ever think about this? ¿Alguna vez has pensado esto? How did Israel get split into two kingdoms? ¿Cómo Israel él se dividió en dos reinos? How did Israel get split into two kingdoms that were all Jews? ¿Cómo Israel se dividió en dos all reinos Hebrews. y todos eran hebreos? How did they get split into two kingdoms? ¿Cómo se separaron en dos reinos? Somebody brought some poisonous stuff and everybody liked it. Alguien trajo este veneno y todo, a todos les gustó. Like if you just drink straight alcohol, como si solo tomaremos uh, al alcohol. You, know, you go to a bar and you order a drink. Si te vas a, a, un, a una cantina y ordenas you una say, bebida. Give me a shot of Everclear. Y le dices que te dé un, una copa de un licor puro. Most people don't drink Everclear straight. Mucha gente no, no toma ese licor puro. Everclear is 180 grain alcohol. Esa bebida es 180 grados de alcohol puro. Puro. Most people don't drink tequila without a lime and salt. Mucha gente no toma el tequila sin sin limón y sal. See, once you bring this poison, you make it palatable. Una vez que tú you make traes, it tasteful. Una vez que traes este veneno y lo haces que es sabroso. So why do you drink the tequila? The, the tequila. Una vez que traes la tequila. With the salt and the lime. Con, con sal y limón. Because it makes it taste better, right? Porque hace que sepa mejor. Why do you make your Everclear and you put it with Kool-Aid? Porque no traes ese ese licor puro y le pones un poco Because de Because it makes it taste better. Para que haga para que sepa mejor. Because you got to make this poison taste good. 
porque tienes, tienes que hacer que este veneno se, sepa bueno. So God is saying here in verse 18, Aquí Dios está diciendo en el versículo 18. Look at verse 18. Mira el versículo 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah our Elohim to go and serve the gods of those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. Amen. So once you stop teaching the children the Ten Commandments, una vez que tú dejas de enseñarle a los niños los diez mandamientos, once you stop teaching the children all the laws of God, una vez que tú dejas de enseñarle a los niños todas las leyes de that Dios, that poison is going to kill the children. Ese veneno va a matar a los niños. So when a person thinks we no longer need to, we need the the animal sacrifices. So, so cuando la persona piensa que que necesitamos los sacrificios de animales. I was talking to a, a person that has a, an interesting channel on YouTube. Estaba hablando con una persona en un canal de YouTube muy interesante. This Gentile who thinks he's a Jew. Un, un gentil que él piensa que es judío. Started this YouTube channel. Empezó este este canal en YouTube. So I'm like, let me try to call this gentleman. Déjame, yo dije, déjame, déjame tratar de yeah, hablar con este caballero. Yeah, because his teaching was uh, needed some work. Porque su enseñanza era que necesita más trabajo. And I said, you know, he asked us, he asked me about Beth Goyim. Y él me me pregunta acerca de Beth Goyim. And I said, we're 100% legalistic. Somos, y le dije, somos 100% legalistas. And he says, you still do animal sacrifices? Y me dice, aún tú sigues haciendo sacrificios de animales? And I said, absolutely. Y le dije, absolutamente. So, as all Gentiles do, they go to the book of Hebrews. Sí, como todo gentil hace, él, él se fue al libro de Hebreos. And then I said to the gentleman, y le dije a este caballero, I said, this is how I can tell you're not trained. Y esto, eh, así es como yo puedo comprobar que tú no, está, no eres entrenado. You didn't quote Yeshua. Porque tú no citaste a Yeshua. So I said, in Matthew 5, verse 18, what does it say? En Mateo 5, 18, ¿qué es lo que dice? Not one jot or tittle will be lost until heaven and earth pass away. Ni una coma ni una tilde va, se va a pasar hasta que el cielo y la tierra pasen. So when you think that we don't need animal sacrifices anymore, si tú piensas que no necesitamos los sacrificios de animales más, you've allowed that poison into your teachings. Tú, vas, tú permites que ese veneno entre a tus enseñanzas. And it'll eventually kill you. Y eventualmente te matarán. So this guy is bringing poison into the community because he's not taught. So este, esta persona está trayendo este veneno a la comunidad porque él no ha sido entrenado. I asked him, did he go to school? Y yo le pregunté si fuiste a la escuela. No, I was called by God. Dijo no, que el Señor me llamó. I read the Bible a bunch of times. Yo he leído la Biblia un montón de veces. Evidently wrong. Evidentemente mal. And you're bringing this poison to the people. Y estás trayendo este veneno a las personas. And how many denominations of Christianity do we have in the world today, everybody? ¿Cuántas uh, denominaciones cristianas tenemos en el mundo hoy, hoy en día? 1,500. 1,500. And that would mean today there's probably even more with the internet. Eso sería uh, en, uh, hoy en día, pero quizás hay más en el internet. Look at verse 18, please. Mira el versículo 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah Elohim to go and serve the gods of the, those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen? So we say all this to get to the next verse. Decimos esto, todo esto para irnos al próximo verso. I said all that. The Lord, Lord wanted us to say all that. El Señor quiso que diga todo esto. To get to the next verse. Para ir al otro verso. About being stubborn. Acerca de ser terco o necio. For I can teach for hours. Porque puedo enseñar por horas. Trying to show you beyond a shadow of a doubt. Tratar de enseñarte que hay sin dudas. That keeping Torah is correct. Que mantener la Torah es lo correcto. But there are 75% of people out there. Pero hay 75% de las personas de afuera. Like this next verse says. Así como este otro verso dice. What does the next verse say? Look at verse 19. Miremos el versículo 19. I could teach for hours, everybody. Yo puedo enseñar por horas. But God knows what's in your heart. Pero el Señor sabe que está en tu corazón. There are 75% of people that this verse is for. Hay el 75% de las personas que les llega este verso. Verse 19. El verso 19. If there is such a person when he hears the word of this curse, he will bless himself secretly, saying to himself, I will be all right, even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing, so that I, although dry, will be added to the water 
as righteous. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. I didn't write it. Yo no lo escribí. But God already knows how he made you. Pero el Señor ya sabe cómo él te hizo. 75% of people that have ever lived are like this. 75% de las personas que han, que han vivido son así. And how do I know that? ¿Y cómo yo sé eso? Because Yeshua gave the parable of the four seeds. Porque Yeshua entregó la parábola de las cuatro semillas. What's the parable of the four seeds? ¿Cuál es la parábola de las semillas? What's the first part, Martin? ¿Cuál es la primera? What's the first seed fall on? ¿En dónde cayó la primera semilla? On the pavement. Second en, seed. En la, en la Second seed, David. David Vicente. What's the second seed? ¿Dónde cayó la segunda semilla? ¿Qué? Okay. El camino. Dos. What's the second seed? Maribel, what's the second seed? Ooh. Luz. Second seed. The roca seed. Oh, very good, very good, very good. Tiffany, third seed. Tangled up in the world. And then what's the fourth seed, Darwin? On the good land. Okay, everybody write down the four seeds. Escriban las cuatro semillas. Falls upon the road. Se cae en, la, en el camino. The rock. La roca. Tangled in the world. En el mundo. Good ground. Y en buena tierra. Road. Camino. Rock. Roca. Tangled. Entrelazada. Good ground. Y buen tierra. Buena Road. Tierra. En el camino. Rock. La roca. Tangled. Enredada. In tradition. En tradición. And good ground. Y en buena tierra. Okay, so the Lord knew that there will be a lot of people. El Señor sabía que iba a haber muchas personas. Uh, I don't need to do the law anymore. Que dice no, no necesito hacer más de la ley. I don't need to wear tzitzit anymore. No necesito ponerme tzitzit. I can sell my book on Shabbat. Puedo vender mis libros en Shabbat. I'll be okay. Yo estaré bien. I'll be okay. Yo estaré muy bien. I'm selling on the Shabbat because really Shabbat's in your heart, John. Yo, yo estoy vendiendo en el Shabbat porque en verdad el Shabbat está en tu corazón. Misleading so many people. Uh, Jonathan, idiota. Estás you know, desviando muchas idiota. personas. Idiota. Muy idiota. <laughs> Cabeza de papa. <clears throat> Cabeza de you know, papa. I tell people about keeping the Shabbat. Yo le digo a las personas que mantengan el Shabbat. Oh, we went to synagogue. Fuimos a, una, a la sinagoga. We're going to go home and cook lunch. Vamos a la casa y vamos a cocinar el almuerzo, la so merienda. You're, you're going to cook lunch and throw a load of laundry in. El almuerzo. They hear the words about the holy days. Escuchan palabras acerca de los días santos. Christians, oh, we don't need to do them anymore. Los cristianos dicen ya no necesitamos hacer esto. But then, you know, they'll do Sunday worship every week. Pero hacen al alabanza de do en domingos cada semana. They hear the words about the, the 613 laws. Escuchan las palabras uh, de las 613 leyes. We don't need those anymore, right? No necesitamos eso más, ¿verdad? Because Jesus said, Porque Jesús dice, on the cross, it's en la finished. Cruz, ha terminado. And that's what you think he meant. Y eso es lo que tú piensas que you él quiso decir. Pot. Tú debes de dejar de fumar marihuana. If that is true that we don't need the laws anymore. Si eso es verdad que no necesitamos las leyes más. Then we no longer need to do anything anymore. We can do whatever we want in our hearts. Entonces ya no necesitamos uh, hacer nada. Podemos hacer todo lo que queramos, lo que nuestros corazones digan. But if we don't need to do the laws anymore. Pero si no necesitamos hacer las leyes más. And we don't need to build an altar anymore. Y si no necesitamos construir un altar. Then verse 14 and 15 is a lie. Entonces el versículo 14 y 15 Está mintiendo. Go back to verse 14 and 15. Revisemos nuevamente el versículo 14 y 15. If we don't need to build an altar anymore, si no necesitamos construir un altar, then verse 14 and 15, God was lying. Entonces el versículo 14 y 15, el Señor está mintiendo. But I'm not making this covenant and this oath with only those with you. Rather, I'm making it both with him who is standing here with us today before Jehovah Elohim and also him who is not here with us today. Amen? Amen. Then his promises are broken. Entonces sus promesas son quebrantadas. So if we don't have to do these things anymore, Entonces no necesitamos hacer estas cosas then we don't más. have any more promises, right? Entonces no tenemos más promesas. Checkmate. We're done. Ha que mate. Ha que mate. Go ha que back mate. down to verse 19. 
Regresemos al versículo 19. If there is such a person when he hears the words of this curse, he will bless himself secretly, saying to himself, I will be all right, even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing, so that I, although dry, sinful, will be added to the water righteous. Amen? Amen. Mm -hmm. People like to secretly keep doing what they want to do. La gente le gusta seguir haciendo secretamente en secreto lo que están haciendo. I will bless myself, they say. Dicen bendeciré, me bendeciré. Even though I heard the mismo. voice of Jehovah. Incluso si haya escuchado las voces de Jehovah. Speak the words of keep the Sabbath holy from the mountain. Hablar las palabras de mantener el, el Shabbat Santo desde, la, desde el monte. They, they also think that only doing three to four hours for Shabbat is okay. It's enough. También piensan que es suficiente estar hacer tres o cuatro horas en el Shabbat. Now the key word here for the rest of the message is verse in verse 19. La palabra clave aquí en el versículo 19 para la enseñanza de este Shabbat is the word stubbornly. Es la palabra terquedad. Okay, stubbornly. Terquedad. Okay, that is. I'm going to do the word in Hebrew, and Rabbi Ed will do it in Spanish. It is H eight three zero seven. Share 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 re youth share youth. Okay, it means stubbornness, hardness, firmness. Para la palabra terquedad o H eight three zero seven. Share youth. Share share the the yod makes like an e sound. Share youth. Uh huh. Es terquedad, dureza, firmeza. Navav has got the dogish in the middle, so it makes an u. Root. Mm -hmm. Okay? So here I'm going to be firm on what I think is right. Even though you can't stand on your position in Scripture. Incluso así tú no puedas uh, mantener lo, uh, tu posición en la Escritura. I'm going to do whatever I think is right in my own heart. Yo voy a hacer lo que yo pienso que es lo correcto en mi propio corazón. No matter what is being taught from the Beth Goyim pulpit, I'm going to do whatever I want. No importa lo que sea enseñado de aquí del púlpito de Beth Goyim, voy a hacer lo que yo quiera. People will say I'm going to eat whatever I want. La gente solía decir yo voy a comer lo que yo quiera. Even though God said don't eat that stuff. Así siendo diciendo que incluso que Dios dice que no no comas eso. I'm going to watch whatever I want on television, even if they're blood-filled movies. Yo voy a mirar lo que sea en la televisión, así sea películas sangrientas. Películas de terror. Even though it's all gore and violence, I'm going to keep watching it because I'm going to do what I want in my own heart. Así sea de violencia todo, yo voy a hacer lo que mi corazón diga. I'm going to be one way here at congregation. Yo voy a hacer de una manera aquí en la congregación. And I'm going to act differently outside. Y voy a actuar de manera diferente afuera. In congregation, I don't curse. En la congregación, yo no maldigo. But outside, I curse all the time. Pero afuera, yo maldigo todo el tiempo. I'm going to dress one way in congregation. Me voy a vestir de una manera en la congregación. But outside, I'm going to wear a blouse that goes all the way down to my belly button. Pero afuera, voy a utilizar blusas que van todo hasta mi ombligo. Or you say in your own heart, o dices en tu propio corazón, I'm not going to be, do what being taught here because God's going to tell me in my heart. No, yo no voy a hacer lo que se me ha enseñado porque Dios me va a decir en mi corazón. But look at what verse 19 says. Pero mira lo que dice el versículo 19. Look at verse 19 and 20. Mira el versículo 19 19 y 20. 19 and 20 now. Versículo 19 y 20. If there is such a person when he hears the words of this curse, he will bless himself secretly saying to himself, I will be all right. Even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing, so that I, although dry, sinful, will be added to, to the water righteous. But Jehovah will not forgive him. Rather, the anger and jealousy of Jehovah will blaze up against that person. Every curse written in the book will be upon him. Jehovah will blot out his name from under heaven. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. Jehovah said, I will not forgive you. Jehovah dice, yo no perdonaré. And here Jehovah is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Y aquí vemos que Jehovah es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. Did Jehovah ever forgive Cain? ¿Acaso Jehovah algún se olvidó de Cain? Did he ever forgive per Cain for killing Abel? ¿Acaso él eh, se perdonó a Cain por matar a Abel? Remember, he didn't die in the, nat in the, in the physical, he died in the spiritual. Él no murió en lo físico, él, él murió en lo espiritual. See, what happens, what the Lord is saying here, lo que sucede, lo que el Señor está diciendo aquí, is these people leave Egypt in the physical, que esta, que esta gente dejó a Egipto en lo físico, but in the spiritual, they're back in Egypt. Pero en lo espiritual, ellos están de regreso en Egipto. Why won't Jehovah forgive them? 
¿Por qué Yahová no los perdonó? It's called being stubborn. Se, esto se llama terquedad. It's called being stubborn in their hearts. Se llama terquedad en sus corazones. Now hold your place in Deuteronomy. Mantén tu lugar en Deuteronomio. Let's go to Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 25. Vamos a Números capítulo 25. Numbers 25. Números 25. Anybody learning anything so far? Están aprendiendo algo. Let's turn to Bamidbar 25, Numbers chapter 25, verse 1 through 5. Vamos a Números 25, versículo 1 al 5. This part is called, How did this happen? We left Egypt, but Egypt didn't leave us. For following the fire law of Jehovah is hard when your heart is in Egypt. Esta parte se titula, ¿Cómo sucedió esto? Salimos de Egipto, pero Egipto no nos dejó. Porque seguir la ardiente ley de Jehová es difícil cuando tu corazón está en Egipto. Numbers 25, verse 1 through 5. Numbers 25, versículo 1 al 5. Israel stayed at Shittim, and there the people began whoring with the women of Moab. These women invited the people to the sacrifices of their God, where the people ate and bowed down to their gods. With Israel thus joined to Baal Peor, the anger of Jehovah blazed up against Israel. Jehovah said to Moshe, take all the chiefs of the people and hang them facing the sun before Jehovah, so the raging fury of Jehovah will turn away from Israel. Moshe said to the judges of Israel, each of you is to put to death those in his tribe who have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Amen? Amen? Amen. Now, let's put this into perspective. Pongamos esto en una perspectiva. We've left Egypt. Dejamos Egipto. The Egyptian army was drowned in the Reed Sea. El ejército egipcio fue hundido en el, en el mar. We walked through 3,000 feet of water. Caminamos por medio de tres, tres mil pies On de either agua. side of us, there was 3,000 feet of water. En cada lado de, del camino había tres mil pies de, de altura de agua. What else is happening at this point? ¿Qué más está sucediendo en Every este Every day, manna is falling down from heaven. Que cada día el manna está descendiendo del cielo. Six days a week, we go out and pick the food off the ground. Seis días de la semana vamos, salíamos a, a recoger comida the, del, del piso. This is after the tabernacle has been built. Esto es después de que el tabernáculo fue construido. It's past the, the first day of the second year. Es, el, es en el segundo año. Okay. God's glory has come down. La gloria de Dios ha descendido. Every night there's a pillar of fire, right? Cada noche hay un, un pilar de fuego. And every day there's a cloud. Y, y en el día hay una nube. In six days a week, food falls from heaven. En seis días de la semana, uh, alimentos descienden del, del cielo. Balaam and Balak have tried to curse us. Balaam y Balak uh, trató de maldecirnos. But they could not curse Israel. Pero no, no pudo maldecir a Israel. Because Jehovah said they're blessed. Porque Jehovah dijo que son bendecidos. Now look at verse 5. Miremos ahora el versículo 5. Moshe said to the judges of Israel, each of you is to put to death Those in his tribe who have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Amen? Amen. Now let's take a first a look at the word joined. Miremos primero la palabra unidos. Okay, I'm going to do it in, in English and Rabbi Eduardo will do it in Spanish. Okay, and the joined is the Hebrew word H6775. It's uh, sa, Samad, Sade Mem Dalit, Sade Mem Dalit. Samad means to bind, join, Fasten. Number two, attach oneself to. Number three, to be fastened to or bound like a rope. Uh, number four, to combine, to fit together, to hitch up like a horse. So, uh, para un, unido, la palabra H6775, Samad, su definición es número uno, para unirse, unir, sujetar. Número dos, adjuntar a sí mismo. Número tres, a ser fijado, ligado. Número cuatro, para combinar, encajar, enganchar. So let's take a look at some. Everybody look up at the screen. Miremos todos al, aquí a la pantalla. Let's take a look up the, this, this picture, everybody. Miremos a esta fotografía. Oh, right, there you see three sets of three sets of feet. Ves ahí a tres pares de pies. Okay. <laughs> the right foot is tied on the the first person on the right over here. Let me make let me uh, get my marker here. Uh, view. Show remote curve. Okay. Oh, boogers. Okay. Right okay. Now we hear. Everybody, see my my mouse. See it now? Yes. Okay. So here we see the foot 
of this child tied to the next one to tie to the next one. Vamos aquí el pie de este, de este muchacho que está unido al, al pie de atrás del otro muchacho y del que le sigue. So the understanding of being bound to get bound together Entiende el estar ata, atado junto is like you are that close with somebody. Es como es, es estar tú muy apegado a otro. Now here Aquí, also you see another piece of rope here. Aquí también ves a otra pieza, otro pedazo de cuerda. You see the left soga. foot is also tied together with the person in front's left foot and the other person's left foot. Ves también que el, el, los, el pie izquierdo también está atado a la otra persona y también a de la de la persona. You have de the atrás. right foot tied to the one behind you. Tienes el pie derecho uh, atado con el que está atrás de la persona. So what happens with this? ¿Qué sucede con eso? So let's say you start walking. Digamos que tú empiezas a caminar. Okay, you all have to walk in step. Que todos tienen que uh, uh, caminar al mismo paso. But let's say the guy here in the in the, on the left here. Diga, mire, digamos que el muchacho que está aquí This one a la here starts to slow down a little bit. Digamos que este muchacho empieza a ir más despacio. That one starts to slow down a little bit. Sí, ese, ese empieza a, a ir más lento. Which means the one in front of him has got to pull a little bit harder. ¿Qué significa esto? Que el, el de adelante va a tener que estrecharse un poco. Dragging de, that person along. Va a tener que, que alarle a la persona para adelante. And then finally it trips the, fir, the one in the front. Y, y finalmente el, el que está al frente va a caer. See, being by, va a tropezar. Being bound to somebody. Estar atado a alguien. Israel bound themselves to Baal Peor. Es de uni, estar unido, estar atados a Baal Peor. That means they were walking in step. Eso, es, eso significa que caminan al mismo paso. With Baal Peor. Con Baal Peor. Okay, and so when one of the person fell. Si una de las personas fracasa. Why did we start in Deuteronomy 29? que es lo que estudiamos en Deuteronomio uh, 29. Once you bring that bitter poison in, una vez que tú esparces ese ese veneno, because I'm gonna say in my heart I'm gonna be okay. Porque yo voy a decir en mi corazón yo voy a estar bien. Okay, so if one person trips, the middle guy trips here, the guy in the dark sneakers trips. Si el el muchacho que está en la mitad resbala. Then both of these guys are going to fall. Entonces el que está delante y el que está atrás van a, también because a caer. Because he's bound to him. Porque eh, están unidos, atados a él. What was some of the other definitions? ¿Cuál era, es otra de las definiciones? Right, after I get off this Oscar, just take away the, uh, the little box there so everybody can still see the picture. Okay? Bound, samad, means what? Samad significa qué? Number four, the last one, hitched up like a horse. Que es la número cuatro, la última es enganchar como un... Caballo. When you have a team of horses, they run together. Cuando tienes un, un grupo de, de caballos que corren juntos. So look at verse 5, everybody. Mira el versículo 5. Moshe said to the judge of Israel, each of you is to put to death those in his tribe who have joined themselves together to Baal Peor. Amen? Amen. Wouldn't that be a little hard? No sería un poco duro. Though, put to death somebody in your own family. El poner a muerte a alguien de tu propia familia. But once the poison starts put going in your family. Pero una vez que ese veneno empieza a entrar a tu familia. Once the poison starts going in your family. Una vez que ese veneno empieza a entrar a tu familia. Hold your place. Mantén el lugar. Go ahí. back to Deuteronomy where I told you to, to hold, hold your place before. To hold, go back to Deuteronomy 29, 18. Regresemos a Deuteronomio 29, versículo 18. Where I told you to hold your place. Donde te dije que hold your place in numbers. Mantén el, el, la página en números We're también. Go back and forth. Porque vamos a, ir, a regresar allá. Number uh, Deuteronomy 29, verse 18 and 19. Deuteronomio 29, versículo 18 y 19. So let there not be among you a man, woman, or family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah our Elohim to go and serve the gods of those nations. Let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. If there is such a person, when he hears the words of this curse, he will bless himself secretly, saying to himself, I will be all right, even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing, so that I, although dry and sinful, will be added to water, watered righteous. Amen? So once you're bound, look at the picture, everybody. Una vez que estás atado, mira once la fotografía. you're bound Una vez que estás atado to that sin al pecado of laziness, de vagancia, that sin of stubbornness, al pecado de terquedad. that bitter poison starts going throughout your whole family. Ese veneno empieza 
a esparcerse por medio de toda tu familia. People get jealous because Jews have money. La gente se pone celosa porque los judíos tienen well, el dinero. Well, how did they get the money, you clown? Entonces, ¿cómo ellos obtuvieron dinero, payasos? They went to school. Fueron a la escuela. They studied. Estudiaron. You played basketball. Tú jugaste basketball. You played football in video games. Tú juegas fútbol en juegos de video. It takes a lot to be a doctor. Toma mucho para poder ser un doctor. It doesn't take much to be a garbage man. No toma mucho el ser un hombre que as, recoge basura. As long as you're pretty strong, you can pick up those cans. Mientras tú seas fuerte, tú puedes recoger esos esos con, uh, contenedores. So don't get jealous. No te pongas celoso. Because you were lazy. Porque tú 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 eres vago. God is saying here. Dios está diciendo if aquí. If you bind yourself to laziness. Si tú te atas con con la vagancia. If you bind yourself to stubbornness of si, His laws. Si te si tú te te atas con la terquedad de, de, de sus leyes. If you let this bitter poison come into your mind, si dejas que este este veneno entre en tu en tu mente, then you have nobody. Got este, it? Si tú dejas que este veneno amargo entre you en have, tu mente, you have nobody to blame but yourself. No no tienes que culpar a nadie sino a ti mismo. Now many of you I can tell are immigrants to this nation. Quizás muchos de ustedes puedo yo decir que son inmigrantes a esta nación. How many people in this room were not born in the Estados Unidos in America? ¿Cuánta gente en este en este cuarto no ha nacido en Estados Unidos? We're not born here. Que no ha nacido aquí. Okay? Why did you come here? ¿Por qué viniste acá? Because this country gave you a great opportunity. Este país entrega unas oportunidades buenas. You can you can be whatever you want to be. Puedes estar a uh, donde quieras. Because God blessed us. Why did you come here? You, you were married. Aquí. You could move to Brazil. You, you could move to Brazil. I hear there's lots of nice uh, people like, you know, San Paulo and places like that. No crime or anything in Brazil, right? Okay. Why did you come here? ¿Por qué viniste aquí? Why did you come to America if, if Ecuador was so great? ¿Por qué viniste a América si Ecuador es, es tan bueno? Why did you come to America if Mexico City was so great? ¿Por qué viniste aquí a América si la ciudad de México you es know, if, if, bueno? If, if, if Chile was so great, si Chile era why tan aren't bueno, you still there? ¿Por qué aún no estás? ¿Por qué no sigues ahí? See what happens. See this nation was dedicated to God and it has fallen away. Lo que sucede es que esta, esta nación fue dedicada a Dios y, es, y se está decayendo. But we're not se está apartando de Dios. Yet. Pero aún no, está, no llegamos we're ahí. Not dead yet. Aún no estamos muertos todavía. See, God keeps his promises. El Señor mantiene sus promesas. Because in 2 Chronicles 7, verse 14, what does it say? En la segunda uh, de Crónicas 7, versículo 14, ¿qué If dice? If my people, si mi gente, who are called by my name, llaman mi nombre, would humble themselves, y se, y se humillan, and turn from their wicked ways, se alejan de sus caminos malvados, then I would hear from heaven and heal their land. Escucharé desde el cielo y, y sanaré su tierra. But look at verse 18, everybody. Mira el versículo 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah Elohim to go and serve the gods of the nations. There, let there not be among you a root bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. Amen. We've allowed the bitter poison to come into our lives. Permitimos que que ese ese veneno amargo entre en nuestras vidas. And what is the bitter poison? ¿Y cuál es ese veneno amargo? Laziness and stubbornness. Vagancia y terquedad. God said, "You do my, you follow my commandments." Dios dice, si sigues, tú sigues mis mandamientos. I will bless you. Yo te bendeciré. I will not only bless you. No solo te bendeciré a ti. I will bless your town. Bendeciré tu 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 pueblo. I will bless your community. Bendeciré tu comunidad. I will bless your nation. Bendeciré tu nación. Because you will raise up godly leaders. Porque tú vas a a elevar a líderes temerosos de But Dios. But when we allow the 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 bitter poison of laziness. Pero cuando tú permites que este veneno amargo de de Valencia, What happened in France? ¿Qué sucede en Francia? What was the news story that we read? ¿Cuál fue la noticia que leímos? The Muslims broke into the Jews' house and said, "You got money." Los musulmanes entran uh, a, la, a la casa de judíos y le, pre, le preguntan si tiene dinero. Did the Jews start out in France? Los, ¿Acaso los judíos empezaron esto en Francia? No, God kicked us out of our land. El Señor 
los desalojos de, de la tierra. Pero aún el Señor sigue manteniendo sus promesas. Y si tú trabajas duro y si empiezas a servir a Dios, esas promesas no son solo para el judío. Son para los gentiles también. Pero si tú quieres ser terco y no, no quieres tú poner a tiempo para estudiar la palabra de Dios. Because you want to be lazy. Porque tú quieres ser vago. Because you want to be lazy. Porque tú quieres ser vago. Because America gives out freebies. Porque América entrega muchas cosas gratis. Uh, I don't know, think if you go to Mexico they got a, the, the social security program, right? Yo no, yo no creo que si tú vas a México tú tienen el programa de del seguro social. In Mexico if you get hurt, you can have a knife sticking out of your head, right? En México si tú tienes una, un cuchillo que clavado en tu cabeza. You can be shot in the stomach, right? Si te disparan en el estómago. Are they going to help you without you paying right then and there? Te van a ayudar ellos acaso a pagar ahí. He's saying no, you're saying yes. It's free. It's free free healthcare in Mexico. Everybody in Mexico. Es todo libre en México. It's free. Gratis. It's free in Mexico? Es gratis en México. Now what I heard? No que he escuchado. Only here in America. Solo aquí and en Israel. Y en Israel. But then again in Israel you're paying 60% in taxes. Pero en Israel tú pagas el 60% Let's ask de another couple impuestos. of Mexicans. Is it free in Mexico? Free healthcare in Mexico? It is? Es la ayuda médica en Israel, en Israel. En México es, es gratis. So if you got a knife sticking out of your head, they're going to take it out for free? Si tú si te clava un cuchillo en Let's tu cabeza te van, a, te van a sacar el cuchillo sin cobrarte nada. We can save a lot of money this way. Podemos, hey guys, I heard this heard from four Mexicans. Podemos, digamos esto ya en California, pues free se puede ahorrar. in Mexico. Mucho dinero. Let's es, all move there. Servicio médico gratis. Do they have food stamps in Mexico? Tienen No? You don't get more money for having more children like here in New Jersey? Tienen cupones de alimentos en México también. You don't have food stamps in, in Puerto Rico? Or the part of America, sir? Dominican Republic. Hey, let's ask my Dominican friends. La República <laughs> nothing. <laughs> no, not, no? Guatemala. I was at the jail in Guatemala and you know they, they then that was scary. <laughs> it went out God, it was scary. Do they have free health care in Guatemala? Yes. They do? Everybody in Guatemala. It does? It's free? Yes. It's not what I was told when I was there. So you can have a knife sticking out of your head. They're going to take it out for free. They told me I needed $500. <laughs> what about you? What do you yeah. say, Oscar? Oh, you're going to die first. <laughs> yeah. oh, that would be like the, Okay. So... Here, Aquí, let's turn us back to the, the, the scripture. Regresemos a las escrituras. Because when you're prosperous, you don't mind giving the people. Cuando tú eres próspero, a ti no te, no te importa entregar dar a las personas. But when you're lazy, pero cuando tú eres God vago, takes things away from you. El Señor te quita las cosas de ti. So here, let's look at verse 18 again. Mira el versículo 18 otra vez. And we're all going to Mexico y and todos Guatemala, nos vamos a México y a Guatemala. So let there not be among you a man. Why is everybody coming here then? Entonces, ¿por qué todos vinieron acá? Uh, we'll talk about that at lunch. I'm going to find <laughs> out more about this. It's amazing. Verse 18. So let there not be among you a man, woman, family, or tribe whose heart turns away today from Jehovah your Elohim and go serve other gods of the nations. So let there not be among you a root of bearing such bitter poison and wormwood. Amen. Once you allow that bitter poison into you, una vez que tú permites que ese veneno amargo uh, entre donde ti, then the poison starts to take hold. Entonces el, el, el veneno empieza a apoderarse. Once you start being lazy in God's word, una vez que empiezas a, a ser vago en la palabra de then Dios, then your prosperity starts to dwindle. Entonces tu prosperidad empieza a once you bind yourself to the enemy of God una vez que tú te atas al enemigo de Dios, then it's like being a Korak in the midst of the assembly es como ser un Korak en, en, entre la asamblea. once you have this poison inside your heart una vez que tú tienes este veneno dentro de tu corazón, like people that say I don't have to follow the law anymore como la gente dice, Yo no, no debemos seguir la ley. or a person who says I don't agree with the teachings here but they won't say it to my face lots of de people con like las escrituras that de aquí, pero no me dicen en mi cara. go back to Numbers chapter 25 
Regresemos, Hold your place. Regresemos a Números 25. Mantén el lugar. Mantén la página. Numbers 25, verse 5. Números 25, versículo 5. Moisés said to the judges of Israel, each of you is to put to death those in this tribe who have joined themselves to... to join themselves to Baal Peor. Amen? When you join yourself to evil, cuando tú uh, te, te unes con la maldad, now put this into perspective. Pon esto en per perspectiva. Israel joined themselves to Baal Peor. Israel, ellos se unieron con Baal Peor. And God was right there in their midst. Y Dios estuvo ahí en medio de ellos. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Here they were being spiritual adulterers Aquí ellos estaban siendo uh, adulteros espirituales And the glory of God had come down in the fire Y la gloria de Dios descendió en el fuego Once you join yourself to to evil Una vez que tú um, te unes a la maldad You allow the poison to start going through you permites que el veneno to entre your, donde ti to your brother or sister a tu hermano o hermana into your family a tu familia into your cousins a tu primos and then into your community y dentro de tu comunidad and then into the rest of the nation y después al resto de la nación and then once the nation is sick it gets taken down by god y una vez que la nación está enferma es eh, el señor la, la recoge le quita. imagine Look at the picture, everybody. Mira la fotografía. Imagine you're binding yourself to Baal Peor, another god. Imagínate que tú estás atado a Baal Peor, a otro right, dios. Right there in the midst of the tabernacle. Ahí en, entre, entre el tabernáculo. En you're el like a hundred yards from the tabernacle. Tú vives unas cien, cien metros, cien yardas del tabernáculo. And you've tied yourself to the pagan god Baal Peor. Y, te, y tú te unes al dios pagano Baal Peor. But, but you just picked up manna that morning. Pero tú acabaste de recoger el maná esa mañana. You did not, you just saw the flame come down that night. Tú acabaste de ver esa, ese fuego, esa llama que, de, que cayó en esa noche. Leaving Egypt is hard work. Dejar Egipto es un trabajo duro. Leaving Egypt is hard work. Dejar el Egipto es un trabajo duro. If you're stubborn. Si eres terco. Not wanting to walk the ways of Jehovah. Sin querer caminar en los caminos de Jehovah. It puts poison in your body. Pone veneno en tu cuerpo. But it might not kill you in the beginning. Quizás no te mate al principio. But it will kill you in the eternal end. Pero te matará al al final eterno. Like smoking. Como el fumar. Smoking doesn't kill you at first, right? El fumar no te mata al principio. But after you smoke for a while, it is a very good possibility you're going to get cancer. Pero con mi, si fumas, si sigues fumando, hay unas posibilidades que tú obtengas cáncer. And it says it right on the package. Y dice ahí en el paquete. But you want to be stubborn and keep smoking that cigarette. Pero tú quieres ser terco y seguir fumando esos cigarrillos. Even though it didn't taste good the first time you put it into your mouth. Incluso si no no sabía bien la primera vez que te well, pusiste en tu a boca. Let me ask a former smoker. Déjame pregunto a alguien que ha fumado. Did it taste good the first time you smoked a cigarette? Eso estuvo bien la primera vez que fumaste? No. No. But did you, did you know it was bad for you? I knew that. Yeah, sabía que sabías que era malo para ti, sí. Rev Eduardo used to smoke two and a half packs a day. Solía fumar dos paquetes y medio al día. But you knew it was bad for you. Tú sabías que eso era malo para ti. But you keep doing it stubbornly in your own heart. Pero sigues a un cierto sigues haciendo eso tercamente en tu propio corazón. But people when they get cancer they cry. Pero la gente que 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 va a tener cáncer ellos lloran. Go to Numbers 25 verse 5 again. Vamos a Números 25 versículo 5 otra vez. Moses said to the judges of Israel, each of you is to put to death those in this tribe who have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Amen. Amen. Okay, you joined yourself. Tú te te uniste now, a, a ello. Now those that are not joined, what's going, what it, does it say? Aquellos que no están unidos, ¿qué es lo que está diciendo? You got to kill your own brother or sister. Tú vas a matar a tu propio hermano o hermana. Don't you think that's a little harsh, God? No piensas que eso es un poquito duro? Everybody, don't you think that's a little harsh? No, a todos, no, no, no piensas que eso es un poquito, que cuesta un poco? Doesn't Jehovah know we make mistakes? ¿Acaso Jehovah no sabe que cometemos errores? He knew what was going to happen to us, right? Él sabía qué es lo que iba a suceder con Hold nosotros. Hold your place there in Numbers. Mantén la página en Números. Turn to Matthew 7, please. Vamos a Mateo 7. Matthew 7, please. Mateo 7. Verse 13 through 15. Versículo 13 al 15. 
This part is called leaving Egypt in spirit and truth is hard road but leads to eternal life. Esta parte se titula dejando al Egipto en espíritu y en verdad es un camino duro pero lleva a la vida eterna. Matthew 7 Mateo 7 verse 13 through 15 versículo 13 al 15 Go in through the narrow gate for the gate that leads to destruction is wide and the road broad and many travel it. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life and only a few find it. Beware of false prophets. They come to you wearing sheep's clothing, but underneath they are hungry wolves. Amen? Amen. Let's go back to verse 14. Al 14. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life and only a few find it. Amen? Amen. Leaving Egypt Dejar el Egipto. means walking the narrow road with the one true king. Dejar el Egipto significa el caminar ese, ese camino angosto con el rey verdadero. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Leaving Egypt Dejar el Egipto means walking on a narrow road significa caminar en, el, en, el, en la ruta angosta with the one true king. Con, el, con el único rey verdadero. And Yeshua says in verse 14, y Yeshua está diciendo en el versículo 14 a narrow gate un camino angosto. That means you have to slow down. Un portón angosto. Eso significa que debes uh, bajar la velocidad. Write down in your notes. Escribe eso en tus notas. I have to slow down. Tengo que bajar la velocidad. I have to slow down. Tengo, tengo que ir lento. I have to slow down. Tengo que ir lento. Why do you slow down when you're going through the, the toll plaza? ¿Por qué tú bajas la velocidad cuando vas a pagar el peaje? Well, it's got to read your easy pass. Tiene you don't slow le- down for any other reason. <laughs> Okay. Anybody slow down going through the easy pass lanes? Yes. Why do you slow down, Darwin? ¿Por qué bajas la velocidad? But if it could read it faster, you would just... No, but if it could read it. Well, but going through the little booth. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to hit the sides. That's what I'm looking for, guys. <laughs> no. Hey, going to the George Washington Bridge. Pasar, para, pasar por el, el puente George Washington. They still got the, the little boots that you got to go through, right? Aún tienen esas cabinas pequeñas donde tú tienes que pasar. Now, if, if you didn't have to slow down, would you? Si tú no bajas la velocidad. You would go through that going 60 miles an hour. O si tú no tuvieras que bajar la velocidad. Tú 70 miles an hour like you normally rápido, drive, Gabriel. 70 millas por hora. You would go through that little booth. Tú pasarías por ese, esa cabina pequeña. You'd slow down. All right, now we got the answer. La respuesta. When you're reading God's word, cuando lees la, la palabra de Dios, slow down. Lee lento. Why do you slow down? ¿Por qué tú lees lento? Gabriel, why did you slow down from 70 to 40? ¿Por qué tú bajas la velocidad de 70 a 40? It's a precaution. Es <laughs> una precaución. Why, why else would you slow down? ¿Por qué? Safety for somebody else. La seguridad por alguien más. But you don't slow down because you don't want to hurt your car. <laughs> Darren, why do you slow down? See, if you slow down, if you get into an accident at 40, si tú, si tú tienes un accidente a 40 millas por hora, you think you can still fix your car? ¿Tú piensas que aún puedes arreglar tu carro? If you get an accident going 70, what's going to happen to your car? Si tú tienes un accidente yendo 70 millas por hora, ¿qué crees que suceda? What's going to happen to that car? ¿Qué va a suceder con ese carro? And what's going to happen to you? ¿Y qué va a suceder contigo? Okay, what's going to happen to you? ¿Qué va a suceder contigo? You're going to get really hurt. Vas a lastimarte mucho. Even if you are wearing a seatbelt, you're still going to be hurting when you get out. Incluso si utilizas el cinturón de seguridad, vas a, te vas a lastimar mucho. Look at verse 14. Mira el versículo 14. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life and only a few find it. Amen? Amen. How do you find it? ¿Cómo tú lo encuentras? You got to not allow the poison to get into you. Tú no debes permitir que ese veneno entre a ti. And by reading the word fast, y, al, y al leer la palabra 
rápido. If you, if you read the word fast, y si lees la palabra muy rápidamente, you're gonna miss the lesson. vas a, a perder algunos detalles, la lección. Going in through the narrow gates, Pasar por ese portón angosto allows you not to get poisoned. Per permite que no, no tengas el veneno. But those that do get poisoned Pero aquellos que sí obtienen ese veneno are listening to rabbis and teachers that say you don't have to follow the law anymore. Están escuchando a uh, esos rabinos o, o maestros que dicen que no debes seguir la ley. Like if you want to ask questions, como si tú quisieras preguntar, hacer preguntas. Because you desire knowledge, because you're seeking the truth. Porque tú deseas sabiduría, porque estás en busca de la verdad. See, I love when you have good questions during road to Emmaus. A mí me gusta cuando tienen esas preguntas en la ruta de Maos. Because I can tell if you're seeking your Truth, porque yo puedo puedo mirar que tú estás en busca de la verdad or you have an agenda. O, tiene, o tienes una agenda I can understand if you're seeking truth, puedo entender si tú estás en busca de la verdad or if you have an agenda. o si tienes agenda okay If you have an agenda, I'll figure it out. Si tienes agenda, yo, yo me daré cuenta. And it's usually because you're listening to other very poor teachers. Y usualmente es cuando estás escuchando a otros uh, maestros que no saben enseñar. Now look at verse 14 again, please. Ahora mira el versículo 14 otra vez. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life and only a few find it. Amen? Amen. The last part is the hardest part. La última parte es lo más duro. And the saddest part. Y la parte más triste. Because only a few find it. Porque solo unos pocos lo encuentran. What makes you think? Que te hace pensar. You are part of the few. Que tú eres parte de ese de los pocos. What makes you think? Que te hace pensar. That you are part of the few. Que tú eres parte de los pocos. See if you're stubborn to follow God's rules. Si tú eres terco en seguir la, las reglas de Dios. Like you don't want to cover your head. Como si no quisieras cubrirte you el pelo. You don't want to grow your beard. No de, que no quisieras dejarte crecer you la barba. You don't want to keep kosher. No quieres mantenerte you kosher. You don't want to do any of the laws that pertain to you. Si no quieres hacer ninguna de las leyes que te pertenecen a ti. Then you've left Egypt in the physical. Entonces has dejado Egipto en lo físico. But you have not left Egypt in your heart. Pero no has dejado Egipto en tu corazón. In the next verse, Yeshua warns. En el próximo verso, Yeshua advierte. Uneducated pastors. A, un, a unos pastores que no tienen edu, edu, one, of the, edu, one of the things that you see on the internet. Una de las cosas que tú miras en el internet. The internet is great. El internet es bueno. And the internet is awful. Y también el internet es Because malo. anybody with an internet connection and a computer could start their own teaching channel. Porque cada persona, cualquiera que tenga internet y una computadora puede em empezar su propia canal de enseñanza. But look at verse 15, everybody. Pero mira el versículo 15. Beware of false prophets. They come to you wearing sheep's clothing, but underneath they are hungry wolves. Amen. Amen. Some guy puts up a teaching on YouTube. I saw this. Una persona puso una enseñanza en YouTube. Yo vi esto. teaching about September 23rd. Era una enseñanza muy grande acerca de septiembre 23. It had seven and a half million hits on it. Tenía 23 y, y medio millones que, que miraron. But the guy doesn't wear seat seat. Pero el hombre no, no utiliza seat He doesn't seat. wear a beard. No utiliza barba. Doesn't have a beard. No tiene barba. And he doesn't keep kosher, y no, mantiene, no se mantiene but kosher. He's about God's word. Pero está enseñando acerca de la palabra de Dios. I get another email yesterday Tuve otro correo electrónico el día de ayer. Jewish woman called Jan Markell. De esta mujer judía que se llama Jane Markell. From Olive Tree Ministries. Del ministerio, eh, ministerio Olive Tree. She's having a conference called Understanding the Times. Ella tiene una, va a tener una conferencia que se titula Entendiendo los Tiempos. When do you think she's having her conference? Cuando tú piensas que ella va, va a tener esa On conferencia. Shabbat. En Shabbat. Not at her congregation. No en la congregación. But just with all these men that don't have beards either. Pero te, con todos estos hombres que tampoco tienen barba. How can you understand the times? ¿Cómo tú puedes entender los tiempos? If you've not left the flesh of Egypt. Si tú no no te has desalojado de la carne de Egipto. Look at verse 15. Yeshua warns us about these people. Mira el versículo 15. Yeshua nos está advirtiendo acerca de esto. Beware of false prophets. They come to you wearing sheep's clothing, but underneath they are hungry wolves. Amen. Amen. If people can't get the Shabbat correct. Si la gente no puede mantener el Shabbat correcto. They have not left Egypt in their hearts. Entonces no han, no han dejado el Egipto en sus corazones. They are stubborn against the fourth commandment. Ellos están 
teniendo terquedad eh, contra el cuarto mandamiento. Look at verse 14 now. Mira el versículo 14. Ahora. But it is a narrow gate and a hard road that leads to life and only a few find it. Amen. Amen. Only a few find it. Solo unos pocos lo encuentran. Now, Bumidbar 25, verse 5. En Números 25, versículo 5. These cinco, were Jews. Estos eran judíos. Hebrew people. Gente hebrea. That were walking with God. Que estaban caminando con Dios. That bound themselves to the devil. Que se ataron ellos mismos a, al demonio. Now, 2,000 years later. Ahora, 2,000 años más tarde. Yeshua is saying to us. Yeshua nos está diciendo. It is a narrow gate and only a few find it. Es un camino angosto y solo unos pocos lo encuentran. How did this happen? ¿Cómo sucedió esto? It is called stubbornness. Esto se llama terquedad. Turn to the Gospel of Mark, please. Vamos al Evangelio de Marco. Gospel of Mark. Evangelio de Marco. Chapter 9. Capítulo 9. Yeah, John Mark. Gospel of Mark, chapter 9. Evangelio de Marco, capítulo 9. Chapter 9, verse 20 to 24. Capítulo 9, versículo 20 al 24. This part is called leaving Egypt and learning how to not be stubborn. One needs trust. Esta parte se titula dejar Egipto y aprender a cómo no ser terco. Uno necesita confianza. Mark 9, verse 20 to 24. Marco 9, versículo 20 al 24. They brought a boy to him, and as soon as the spirit saw him, it threw the boy into a convulsion. Yeshua asked the boy's father, how long has it been happening to him? Ever since childhood, he said. And often tries to kill him by throwing him into the fire or into water. But if you can do anything, have pity on us and help us. Yeshua said to him, what do you mean if I can? Everything is possible to someone who has trust. Instantly, the father of the child exclaimed, I do trust. Help my lack of trust. Amen? Amen. Yeshua says in verse 23, What do you mean? Yeshua está diciendo en el versículo 23. ¿Qué, all, ¿qué quieres decir con eso? All things are possible for God. Todas las cosas son posibles para Dios. But then the Father says. Pero, y el Padre dice. Look at verse 24, everybody. Mira el versículo 24. Instantly the Father of the child exclaimed, I do trust. Help my lack of trust. Amen. Amen. Because he's being stubborn. Es porque él está siendo terco. You must learn to trust in the commandments of God. Tú debes aprender a confiar en los mandamientos de Dios. Because why did he say, help my lack of trust? Entonces, ¿por qué él dice que me ayudes uh, uh, con mi falta de confianza? Why did he say that? ¿Por qué él dice esto? Because Yeshua can hear his thoughts. Porque Yeshua puede escuchar sus pensamientos. God can hear our thoughts. El Señor puede escuchar mis pensamientos. God can hear our thoughts. El Señor puede escuchar mis pensamientos. Now go back to Numbers 25. Ahora regresemos a Números 25. Now go back to Numbers 25. Regresemos a Números 25. Numbers 25, verse 5. Números 25, versículo 5. Numbers 25, verse 5. Números 25, versículo 5. Moisés said to the judges of Israel, each of you is to put the death those in his tribe have joined themselves to Baal Peor. Amen. Join together Uniéndose. means you fastened yourself to a bad idea. Es, um, Number tú, one uh, tú, of the uh, definitions. Que tú estás, um, hold on. Eso significa que te estás uniendo a una, sujetando a una mala, a, a una bad what? Uh, bind, bind, fasten yourself like you're tied to somebody else. Okay, que te estás atando a algo tú mismo. Once you tie yourself to a person instead of the word, una vez que tú te ates a una persona en vez de, de atarte la palabra, once you tie yourself to a person instead of God's word, una vez que tú te ates a una persona en vez de atarte la palabra, you follow the devil. Tú sigues al demonio. If, if the people would have said, si, si la gente dijera, in Numbers 25, en Números 25, if the people would have said to God, si la gente dijera a Dios, why can't we be with those people? ¿Por qué no podemos estar con esas personas? Do you not think God would have answered the question? ¿Tú, piensas, tú no piensas que el Señor hubiese respondido esa, pre, esa pregunta? If the people would have said, they look like nice people, God. Si la gente hubiese dicho, ellos se miran buenas personas, Dios. They dance so very nicely. Ellos bailan muy, bailan muy bonito. Don't you think God would have answered the question? No piensas tú que el Señor hubiese respondido so a when esas you, preguntas? When you, when you got a question for God, Cuando tú tienes una pregunta para Dios, like why should we wear 
men? Como por ejemplo, ¿por qué deberíamos vestir los tzitzis para los hombres? Or why should we eat kosher? O por qué deberíamos comer kosher? Or why should we keep the Sabbath holy? O por qué deberíamos mantener el sábado santo? Or why should men have beards? O por qué el hombre debería tener barba? Why should we do something God will answer your question? Por qué debería, deberíamos hacer algo? El Señor respondería las he preguntas. He will explain and he will tell you in his word where he wants you to read. Él te explicaría y él te enseñaría en su palabra en donde tienes que leer. He knows that walking with him él sabe que caminar con él is harder than walking with Satan. Es, es duro que el caminar más difícil que caminar God con Satanás. Knows this. El Señor conoce esto. Write down, God knows el Señor sabe walking with him is harder than walking with Satan. El Señor sabe que caminar con, con él es más duro que caminar con Satanás. God knows el Señor sabe Walking with him is harder caminar con él es más fácil than walking with Satan. Ah, me, I'm sorry, es más difícil que caminar con Satanás. God knows Señor sabe for walking with him is harder than que, walking with Satan. Que caminar con, con Dios es más difícil que caminar con Satanás. Because why? ¿Por qué? Because when we walk with God, we got to join ourselves together with Him. Porque si caminamos con Dios, debemos unirnos y caminar juntos con Él. And the world does not want to be with Him. Y el mundo no quiere estar con Él. The world wants to be lazy. El mundo quiere ser vago. People want things handed to them. La gente quiere que las cosas se le, se le entregue las cosas. But how does God take care of the poor? Pero cómo Dios el cuida del pobre. How does God take care of the poor? Does He hand them money? ¿Cómo Dios cuida del pobre? ¿Acaso les, les, les entrega dinero? If you're poor and you need food, what does God do? Si tú eres pobre y necesitas comida, ¿qué es lo does, que Dios does hace? Does he give you an EBT card? ¿Acaso él te da una tarjeta del... Does he have welfare? ¿Acaso él tiene el welfare? No, he says, go over there and work in that field. No, él dice que vaya allá y que trabajes del campo. Now, what, what is so beautiful about that? ¿Cuál, ¿Qué es lo hermoso de esto? Because remember the book of Ruth. Recuerda el libro de Ruth. Ruth was born a Moabite. Ruth nació una, era, era Moabita. Now, she became a Jew walking back to Israel. Ella se convirtió en judía caminando de regreso a Israel. But she still looked like a Gentile. Pero aún ella se... Sigue, parece, se, se mira como un gentil. And the rules of God says y la, la reg, reglas de Dios dicen that if, if something hits the ground, que si algo uh, cae al piso in your farm, en tu granja you leave that for the poor and the widows, tú dejas eso para el pobre y para las viudas and the orphans. Y, la, y los huérfanos. Thank you. Okay, you let them take it. Tú les dejas a ellos que lo tomen. Ruth was allowed to work in Boaz's field because she was a widow. Eh, Ruth pudo trabajar en, en el campo de, de Boaz porque ella era una viuda. Because Boaz was fastened to the word. Porque Boaz era atado al Señor. One, what we need to do lo que necesita hacer is stop being lazy dejar de ser vago and bind ourselves to God. Y atarte Atarse, no, atarnos a, a Dios. How, now let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. How do we bind ourselves to God? ¿Cómo nos unimos, nos atamos a How Dios? How do you bind yourself to your heavenly husband? ¿Cómo nos atamos a nuestro padre esposo celestial? Well, if ser, God ser. is the same yesterday, today, and forever, porque Dios es el mismo ayer, hoy y siempre. One needs to bind themselves how. ¿Cómo se puede uno atar a él? Your life needs to be all about God's word. Tu, tu vida debería ser todo acerca de la palabra de Dios. Say my life needs to be all about God's word. Mi vida escribe di esto, mi, mi vida debe ser my, todo acerca de la de la palabra de Dios. My life needs to be all about God's word. Mi, mi, mi vida necesita ser todo acerca de la palabra de Dios. Stubbornness leads to destruction. Porque la terquedad te lleva a la destrucción. Turn to Joshua 24. Vamos a a Josué 24. Joshua 24. Josué 24. We're going to read verse 14 through 16. Vamos a leer el versículo 14 al 16. Joshua 24. Josué 24. Verse 14 through 16. Versículo 14 al 16. This part is called Don't just say the words leave Egypt in your heart. Y esta parte se titula No solo digas las palabras, saca a Egipto de tu corazón. Josué 24, verse 14 to 16. Josué 24, versículo 14 al 16. When you got it, say amen. It's right after the Torah. Go to Deuteronomy and make a right. Joshua 24. 
Josué 24. Verse 14 through 16. Versículo 14 al 16. Therefore, fear Jehovah and serve him truly and sincerely. Put away the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve Jehovah. If it seems bad to you to serve Jehovah, then choose today whom you're going to serve. Will it be the gods of your ancestors served beyond the river or the gods of the Amorite in whose land you are living? As for me and my household, we will serve Jehovah. The people answered, Far be it from us that we would abandon Jehovah and serve other gods. Amen? Amen. <laughs> Look at verse 14. Mira el versículo 14. Verse 14. Versículo 14. Therefore, fear Jehovah and serve him truly and sincerely. Put away the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates River and in Egypt and serve Jehovah. Amen? Amen. See, to serve Jehovah, Para servir a Jehovah, you have to leave Egypt in your hearts. Tienes que dejar a Egipto de tus, tienes que sacar Egipto de tus corazones. To serve Jehovah, Para servir a, you, a have, Jehovah, you have to leave Egypt in your hearts. Tienes que sacar Egipto de tus corazones. And in verse 14, en el versículo 14, it says, serve him truly and sincerely. Dice que lo sirvas de, con verdad y, y con sinceridad. What does that mean? ¿Qué significa eso? How do you serve him sincerely? ¿Cómo lo sirve sinceramente? That means when it says to do something, eso significa cuando él dice que hagas algo, you do it. Tú lo haces. You don't be stubborn and say, I'm not going to do it. Tú no te pones terco y dices, yo no voy a hacer. The word is very clear what it wants each person to do. La, persona, la, la palabra es muy clara de lo, lo que quiere que cada persona haga. So what is Jehoshua saying in verse 14? ¿Qué es lo que está diciendo Jehoshua en el versículo 14? He's simply saying, put away your stubborn hearts. Él está diciendo simplemente que pon a un lado tu corazón terco. Just do what the word says to do. Solo haz lo que la palabra dice que hagas. And if you do, y si lo haces, what were the promises that we heard earlier? ¿Cuáles serían las promesas que escuchamos eh, temprano? What did we hear earlier? ¿Qué escuchamos temprano? Everything will be great. Todo sería bueno. Everything will be great. Todo sería bueno. If you start doing everything you're required by in Torah, in your life, si tú empiezas a hacer todo lo que la Torah requiere en tu vida, then everything will start turning great. Entonces todo, todo empezará a ponerse you bueno. You want to make America great again? ¿Quieres que América sea otra vez buena? How do we make the country great again? ¿Cómo hacemos que el país sea we bueno otra vez? We turn back to the, 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 the narrow road. Regresamos al camino angosto. We turn back to the narrow road. Nos regresamos al camino angosto. Look at verse 15. Mira el versículo 15. If it seems bad to you to serve Jehovah, then choose today whom you're going to serve. Will it be the gods of the ancestors to serve beyond the river, or the gods of the Amorite, or whose land you're living? As for me and my household, we will serve Jehovah. Amen? Amen. Do you just say that, or do you mean it? ¿Tú solo dices eso, o lo sientes en verdad? How many people have said this? ¿Cuánta gente ha dicho esto? How many people have said this? ¿Cuánta gente ha dicho As for esto? me and my house, Yo y mi casa, we're going to serve Jehovah. Vamos a servir a Jehovah. What does it mean to serve Jehovah? ¿Qué significa el servir a Jehovah? See, if you're being lazy, si, si tú estás siendo vago, and you're not studying his word, y no estás estudiando su palabra. I asked a bunch of people about the, the, the four the four Seeds. Yo pregunté a muchas personas acerca de, la, de, la, de las cuatro semillas. And you didn't know. Y no sabían. If you don't know that, how are you going to know the laws that pertain to you? Si no, si no conoces eso, ¿cómo tú vas a saber las leyes que te pertenecen a ti? Don't harden your hearts. No endurezcas tu corazón. Make it corazón. your life. Haz que esas leyes sean tu vida. It's hard work. Es un trabajo duro. But it's worth it. Pero vale la pena. Because when you leave this life, porque cuando tú dejes esta vida, you're going to get a nice room in the Father's mansion. Tú vas a tener un cuarto muy muy hermoso en la mansión del Padre. Anybody want to live at the Father's house? Todos quieren vivir en la casa del Padre. Anybody want to live at the Father's house? Todos quieren vivir en la casa del Padre. Hard work is worth it. El trabajo fuerte, duro es vale la pena. For there is a heaven, porque hay un, un cielo. But not everybody gets into it. Pero no todos entran allí. Let me say this also. Déjame también te digo esto. Most people don't get into heaven. La, la mayoría de personas no entran al cielo. But if you're stubborn, 
Pero si eres terco, to God's law a las leyes de, de Dios, and you don't want to obey his laws in your home y no quieres obedecer sus leyes en tu casa, then you're being like this verse entonces tú estás, eres como este verso, that we read earlier que acabamos, que leímos temprano. I'll be okay Yo estaré bien. go back now to Deuteronomy 29 Regresemos a Deuteronomio 29. Verse 15. Versículo 15. Deuteronomy 29, verse 15. Deuteronomio 29, versículo 15. Rather, I am making it both with him who is standing here with us today before Jehovah Elohim and also with him who is not here with us today. Amen. The promises of God are still valid today. Las promesas de Dios aún tienen validez hoy día. God never breaks his promises. El Señor nunca quebranta sus promesas. So on one hand, we're going to get good. En una mano vamos a obtener lo bueno. But now look at verse 19 on the other hand. Pero ahora mira el versículo 19 en la otra mano. On the other hand. En la otra mano. If there's such a person when he hears the words of, a, of this curse, he will bless himself secretly, saying to himself, I will be all right, even though I will stubbornly keep doing whatever I feel like doing so that I although dry sin will be added to watered watered righteous amen, amen. amen. doing whatever you you want Hacer lo que tú quieras. leads to terrorism te, esto te guía, te lleva al terrorismo. we had terrorist act in the, in England yesterday Tuvimos un ataque terrorista en, en Londres ayer. why are we having them ¿Por qué es, por qué tuvimos? Because don't want to follow God's rules. Porque la gente no quiere seguir las reglas de Dios. For we're doing such a great job. Porque estamos haciendo un buen trabajo. If the church was doing such a great job. Si la iglesia estuviera haciendo un buen trabajo. Then why is the world in such a mess? Entonces, ¿por qué el mundo está en un desastre? What it comes down to everybody is stubbornness. Cuando, lo, que, lo que sucede esto es por la terquedad. Let's go on to theme number two. Vamos al tema número Anybody dos. Anybody learn anything in theme number one? Amen. Let's go on to theme number two. We're going to look at Proverbs. Tema número dos y vamos a mirar Proverbios. Proverbs 22, everybody. Proverbios 22. Proverbs 22, verse 5. Proverbios 22, versículo 5. Proverbs 22, verse 5. Proverbios 22, versículo 5. We're moving on to section number two, theme number two. Nos vamos a la sección número dos. This is called on one hand and on the other hand. Esto se titula en la, en la una mano y en la otra mano. One of the things I love about the book of Michelle, Proverbs, una de las cosas que a mí me gusta del libro de Proverbios is you always get both hands. que siempre tienen la, las dos manos. What do I mean by both hands? ¿Qué quiero decir con las dos manos? Say, if you do this, you get this. Si, si tú haces esto, tú vas a obtener and esto. If you do this, you get this. Y si tú haces esto, vas a obtener it's esto. The two hand theory. Es la teoría de dos manos. Ok, let's look at verse 5. Proverbs 22, Michelle 22, verse 5. Proverbios 22, versículo 5. Thorns and snares beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. Amen? Amen. Let's read it again. Leamos otra vez. Thorns and snares beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. Amen? Amen. Okay, you see two hands in verse 5. Si miras ahí, las dos manos en el versículo 5. What, what I love about this is there's always a choice being given. Lo que me gusta de esto es que siempre hay elección que se entrega, que se in ha sido the, entregada. In the second half of the sentence, there la, is the reward. En la segunda parte del versículo está la recompensa. In the first half of the sentence is the warning. En la primera parte del versículo es, está la advertencia. Let us start with the key word that we're going to look at throughout this section. Empecemos con, con la palabra clave que empezamos esta sección. It's the same word that we've been working on. It's the word stubborn. Es la, primer, es la misma palabra que estamos trabajando. Es la palabra terquedad. In some version of the Bible, the word stubborn is the word perverse. En algunas uh, versiones, la palabra para terco es uh, perverso. Okay, but in Hebrew, let's look at the Hebrew because that's the way God gave it to us. Pero en hebreo, revisemos la que, cómo es, porque el Señor nos entregó su palabra en hebreo. Okay, the word stubborn in Hebrew is H6141. It means, it is the Hebrew word ekesh. It means to be twisted, distorted, crooked, perverse, perverted. La palabra H6141, que es terco, en hebreo es ekesh. Uh, su definición, torcido, distorsionada, corrupto, perversa. Y pervertida. So let's look at verse 5 again. Miremos el versículo 5 otra vez. Thorns and snare beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. Amen? Amen. See, when you're stubborn, God is saying to us, you're perverted. 
cuando, cuando tú eres terco, el Señor está, nos está diciendo que eh, somos pervertidos. You're twisting his truth when you're stubborn. Tú estás torciendo su, su palabra cuando tú eres terco. You're walking su a crooked path. Tú estás caminando un camino torcido. So if you're looking for teachers or rabbis, si estás tú buscando por, por maestros o rabinos who want to tickle your ears, que quieren um, contentarte los oídos, you will find them. Tú vas a encontrarlos. You can go to John Kahn's place. He's never going to give you a message like this. Tú vas this. al lugar de Jonathan Kahn. Él, él nunca te va él nunca va a argumentar contigo. You can go to many messianic congregations that are never going to give you a message like this. Tú puedes irte a cualquier a cualquier congregación mesiánica que ellos no te van a entregar un mensaje como este. You can go to pretty much any church. Tú prácticamente puedes ir a cualquier iglesia. They're never going to give you a message like this. No, ellos no nunca te van a entregar un mensaje como este. But if you want to be stubborn about following God's perfect laws, pero si quieres ser terco y acerca de seguir las leyes perfectas de Dios, you can find people. Tú puedes encontrar personas try to teach you. que te van a tratar de enseñar. In part two of the proverb, en la parte en la parte dos del proverbio, it states if you value you, your life, dice si tú uh, valoras tu, tu vida. If you value your life, si tú valoras tu vida. How many people value your their lives? Cuánta gente va. Uh, How many people Valor, value their lives? ¿Cuánta gente valora sus propias vidas? Do you value the, the Latino Spanish people? Do you guys value your lives? ¿Les valoran las, la vida? How many people value your life? Every hand should have went up. ¿Cuánta Too many crickets, people wake up. Propia vida? Come on now. You value your life. Si tú valoras tu vida. You have to stay away from snares. Tú vas a estar, tú vas a estar alejado de... Snare. It's in the, the it's in the proverb, whatever the proverb says in okay. Spanish. Tú vas a estar alejado, mantenerte fuera de los los obstinados. Anybody got a Spanish Bible with the snare? A snare. Martin, you got a Spanish? You read English or Spanish? Spanish. What okay. does it say in the Spanish Bible? Thorns. Thorns. Thorns and snares. There's uh -huh. two words. Okay. Trap. Trampas. De las trampas. Traps. Ok, trap. Yeah. Ok. How do you stay away from the snares? ¿Cómo tú te mantienes alejado de las trampas? How do you stay away from the trap of the enemy? ¿Cómo tú te mantienes alejado de la trampa del enemigo? Because remember, Satan has been doing this for almost 6,000 years. Porque recuerda que Satanás ha estado haciendo esto por los últimos 6,000 años. He's probably años. pretty good at his job by now, huh? Quizás él es muy bueno en su trabajo. If you value your life, si tú valoras tu vida, you will stay away from the trap. Tú vas a estar, te, te vas a estar alejado de la trampa. If you knew there was a trap set for you, wouldn't you stay away from it? Si tú sabías que ahí había una trampa para ti, tú you know, estarías, te alejarías de eso. You you're driving down the road. Si estás manejando en, en la ruta. And you're doing 70 like Gabriel. Y estás yendo a 70 millas por hora. And everybody in front of him starts to hit their brakes. Y todos al frente de él empiezan a, a pisar el freno. Do you try to speed up and go around those people? Tú tratas de acelerar y, y pasarles a esas Especially personas. Especially when there's a bend and there might be a police officer there? Especialmente cuando hay a un, quizás un policía. Okay, if you knew that there was a speed trap, do you speed through the speed trap? Si tú sabes que había una trampa de la velocidad. Now, if people are going to be wise with not wanting to get a speeding ticket, si la gente quiere ser inteligente, sabia para no obtener un ticket, how much more wiser cuanto más sabio Should you be with the word of God and Satan setting a trap for you? Debería ser con la palabra de Dios para para que Satanás no te ponga una trampa a ti. Since a trap can lead to eternal hell. Como una trampa te puede llevar al al infierno eterno. Now the word in Hebrew for snare or trap. La palabra en hebreo en hebreo para trampa. Is H six three four one. It is the Hebrew word pach. Uh, Pe chet. It means bird trap. Yeah. Trap. Snare, number two, calamities, plots, source of agent of calamity. La palabra para tampa en hebreo es la palabra H6341, que es pag, número uno, trampa para pájaro, trampa, atrapar, número dos, 
de calamidades, conspiraciones, la fuente o factor de la calamidad. How do you stay away from calamity? ¿Cómo tú estás al, te alejas de la calamidad? How do you stay away from calamity? ¿Cómo te alejas de la calamidad? Look at verse 5 again, Proverbs 22, verse 5. Mira otra vez, Proverbios 22, versículo 5. Thorns and snare beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. Amen. How do you keep your distance from this trap? ¿Cómo tú mantienes la distancia de esta trampa? How did every Jew start doing the candle thing? ¿Cómo cada cómo el judío empezó a hacer esto de la del encendido de velas? How did every Jew start saying we're celebrating Rosh Hashanah this week? ¿Cómo cada judío empezó obtuvo esto de celebrar Rosh Hashanah en esta semana? Because they stopped reading the word the Torah of their God. Porque ellos dejaron de leer la Torah de Dios. How do you stay away from the traps? ¿Cómo tú te alejas de esas trampas. You must put study time into the most important thing of your life. Tú deberías poner un tiempo a algo más importante de tu vida que well, es la palabra. What is the most important thing in your life? ¿Cuál es la parte la, lo más importante de tu vida? Catherine, what's the most important thing of your life? ¿Cuál es lo más importante Danny, de next. la palabra? What's the most important thing in Catherine Marie Barbero's life? It didn't sound too convincing. Torah. When in doubt, say Torah. Yes. Torah. Oh, make believe you're yelling at Danny. Torah. Oh, that's that's your Danny voice. Danny, what's the most what's the most important thing in your life? Video games. What's the most? Airsoft. Oh yes, my, my my new airsoft rifle. What's the most important thing in your life? To follow God's law. Can you tell me the Ten Commandments? Ivrit Bavakasha. You're getting softer. Okay, we'll give Danny a hand. <laughs> Now, Yvonne, can you give me the Ten Commandments? In order? In order? No, in disorder, please. We like them in disorder. <laughs> okay? If you want to not get trapped by the enemy, si tú no ser por el enemigo, Benjamin, if you want to not get trapped by the enemy, si no ser por el enemigo, how do you stay away from the, the trap? If No, he's got a better gun than you gun. He's got the one that can shoot for a couple of miles. Okay? <laughs> I'm getting shot at. Look, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew, I'm a Jew. Okay? How, if, how do you stay away from the snare? ¿Cómo tú te, te apartas de esa trampa? How do you stay away from the snare, Miss Carmen, in the lovely pink and outfit that you are in today? How do you stay away ¿Cómo from tú the te snare alejado de las, de esa trampa? if you can't even give me the Ten Commandments? Si no puedes citarme los diez mandamientos. You said in order. Why would I want them in disorder, dearest? Let's do them backwards. It's going to take me a moment. Okay, I'll drink a little something. Okay, I'm waiting. This is a teaching ministry we got all day. I didn't think Danny could do it, but he did it. I was amazed. Happy birthday. <laughs> I can't do it. On, I, she says she can't do it on the spot. <laughs> This is, look at the proverb. Mira el proverbio. Perfect example. Un buen ejemplo. Thorns and snares beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. How can you keep your distance from the devil if you can't quote God's word? ¿Cómo tú puedes mantener la distancia de, del enemigo si no puedes citar la palabra de Dios? How are you going to make somebody a good wife one day? ¿Cómo tú puedes hacer de alguien una buena esposa algún día? If you don't know your role as a wife, si tú no conoces tu papel como esposa, you must put study time into God's word. tú tienes que poner un tiempo para estudiar la palabra de Dios. The most important mm. thing in our lives should be God's word. Lo más importante en nuestras vidas debería ser la palabra de Dios. Because let me tell you from the Jewish people, everybody. Déjame te digo por la por la gente judía. Because we're real good at screwing up. Que nosotros somos muy buenos en desembarrar la We're real good at messing things up. Nosotros somos muy buenos en, en, en hacer desastres. And you know what? The Bible tells it. 
y la, la, la Biblia dice Just read Kings and Chronicles. solo lee Reyes y Crónicas you see how badly we screw up. Tú, tú vas a ver qué tan, tan malo nosotros we just read numbers. acabamos de leer números God was right there. el Señor estuvo ahí how did we get trapped? ¿cómo nos, nos dejamos atrapar? We didn't want to leave Egypt inside of ourselves. porque no quisimos dejar el Egipto dentro de nosotros we get trapped by the snare. nos dejamos atrapar en esa trampa. The evil knows how to put that thorn in your side, everybody. El mal sabe, el malvado sabe cómo poner, eh, cómo poner esa espina en, en, en ti. How do you make a pagan person step on your? He knows how to make a pagan person step on your last nerve. Él sabe cómo hacer que una persona paga, pagana ponga esa espina en tu último nervio. Satan knows his job really good. Satanás conoce su trabajo muy bien. How, how, also Satan knows how to make this happen. También Satanás sabe cómo hacer esto. He knows how to make doubt turn into a monster. Él sabe cómo hacer que esta es la duda se convierta en un monstruo. But if a person values his life, pero si la persona uh, valora su vida, and they love the Messiah, y ama al Mesías, you can't be lazy when it comes to God's word. Tú no puedes ser uh, vaga cuando se cuando se viene esto de la palabra Write de Dios. Down in your notes. Escribe esto en tus notas. Write down in your notes. Escribe esto en tus notas. I can't be lazy when it comes to God's word. No puedo ser vago cuando se trata de la palabra de Dios. I can't be lazy when it comes to God's word. No puedo ser vago cuando se trata de la palabra de Dios. I can't be lazy when it comes to God's word. No puedo ser vago cuando cuando se trata de la palabra de Dios. Salvation is a free gift. La salvación es un regalo a uh, gratis. And gratuito. you're forgiven by Yeshua, right? Y tú estás siendo perdonado por well, well, Yeshua. What does Yeshua say next? ¿Qué es lo que Yeshua dice después? Go sin no more. Ve y no peques más. Go sin no more. Ve y no peques más. If you value your life, si tú valoras tu vida, you need to find out what sin is. Tú necesitas encontrar qué es pecado. Let's look at verse 5 again. Miremos el versículo el versículo 5 otra vez. Thorns and snare beset the way of the stubborn. He who values his life keeps his distance from them. Amen. Amen. Let's take a look at the Hebrew word for value or guards. Miremos al la palabra hebrea para valor o guarda. Okay, it's the Hebrew word H8104. It is uh, Shin Mem Resh. It is the Hebrew word Shamar. It means to keep, guard, observe. Number two, have charge of, keep watch, ward, protect, save life. Number three, keep within bounds, restraining. Number four, observe, celebrate, keep the Shabbat or covenant. Uh, number five, keep oneself, refrain, abstain. El, el significado para la palabra valor o guarda es llamar su definición uno para mantener, guardar, observar, hacer caso. Número dos, tener cargo de vigilar y guardar, cuidar, proteger, salvar la vida. Número tres, para mantener dentro de ciertos límites, restringir. Número cuatro, observar, celebrar, guardar, sábado o pacto o... Número cinco, mantenerse, renunciar, abstenerse. Okay, so if you value your life, you want to guard your life. Si tú valoras tu vida, tú vas a, a resguardar tu, 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 tu vida. Against those tickly ear teachers out there. En, en contra de aquellos maestros que te, te quieren, te hablan al oído susurrándote. If you value your life. Si tú valoras tu vida, you will restrain yourself from worldly things. Tú te vas a reforzar no te vas a te vas a abstenerte de las cosas del mundo. A person who values their life una persona que valora su vida will observe Jehovah's Moedim va a observar los los días santos de Jehová. Like Yom Teruah and not Rosh Hashanah. Como Yom Teruah y no Rosh Hashanah. If you value your life si tú valoras tu vida you will celebrate the commandments instead of running from the commandments like most people do. Tú vas a celebrar los mandamientos y no correr de los mandamientos como mucha gente lo hace. I celebrate God's commandments. I love God's commandments. Yo, ce yo celebro los mandamientos de they Dios. They are solid and they are good. Son sólidos y son buenos. A person who values their life will not be lazy Una persona que valora su vida no, se, no, no es vago in the daily study of God's 
mitzvot. Y estudia diariamente los los mitzvot de, de Dios. A person who values their life una persona que valora su vida will not be joined to Baal. No se estaría no se juntaría con Baal. Turn to Proverbs 15, please. Vamos a Proverbios 15. Proverbs 15 verse 19. Proverbios, Proverbios 15 versículo 19. Proverbs 15 verse 19. Anybody learning anything today? Amen. You're learning something good. Proverbs 15, Mashal 15, verse 19. Proverbios 15, versículo 19. A lazy person's way seems overgrown by thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. Amen. Let's read it again. Leamos otra vez. Otra vez. The lazy person's way seems overgrown by thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. Amen. On one hand, en una mano, if your life is one long emergency, si tu vida es una, una emergencia larga, let me no, explain a, it in a, a different emergency. way. I'm quoting a song, okay? If your life is one long problem, si tu vida es un problema prolongado, you ever meet those people that go, oh, this is going bad, oh, this is going bad, oh, this is going, and they think they're Job. Si te, si te has <laughs> encontrado con esas personas que se quejan por todo y piensan que son como, como Job. If, If your life is one long emergency, si tu vida es así de una emergencia de largo tiempo, then you're a lazy person, says Colette. Entonces, Colette está diciendo que eres una persona Because you're stubborn, uh, for Jehovah wants to give you peace. Porque tú estás siendo terco porque Jehovah quiere entregarte paz. But let's take a look at the word lazy. Pero miremos la, la, la definición de la palabra Lazy perezoso. is H6102. It, it is the Hebrew word atzel. Okay, it means sluggish or lazy. La palabra H6102, uh, eh, Aragán, su definición es lento, perezoso. If your life is filled with thorns, si tu vida está siendo llena de espinos, one problem after the next problem, un problema, si otro problema, and each problem throws you over the edge of the cliff, right? Y cada problema te está poniendo al borde del abismo. Then you're lazy and you don't trust God's word. Entonces tú estás siendo perezoso y no estás confiando en la palabra That's de Dios. That's what the proverb is saying, everybody. Eso es lo que el proverbio está diciendo. Remember the father said to Yeshua, what? Recuerda que el Padre le dijo a Yeshua, ¿qué le, dijo? ¿qué le dijo al Padre en Marcos 9? I trust. Help me to trust. Ayúdame a confiar. People are quick to say they believe in God, la gente es rápida en decir que ellos creen en Dios. But they don't do anything to know what God is like. Pero no hacen nada para, para saber cómo es Dios. Now on the other hand, en la the otra mano, eh, también el camino está siendo mencionado. Okay, the path. El camino is the Hebrew word H734. It is the Hebrew word Orach, Aleph, Resh, Che. It means the road, the passing of life, the way of living. So, definición is número uno, senda, trayectoria, camino, número dos, paso de la vida, en sentido figurado, número tres, modo de vivir, en sentido figurado. If your way of living is upright, si tu manera de vivir es justa, then you're not going to go through many problems. Entonces no vas a, a pasar por medio de muchos problemas. If you if you ever meet people that their life is one long novella, has has conocido gente que su vida oh, es como una laugh. novela. Oh, now I got I spoke your language. No drama queen. <laughs> okay, you ever meet people that want one, one long soap opera in their life? Tú has has conocido personas que son bien. Um, en su vida. Oh, my son's in jail again. Que su vida es una novela. Oh, this, my daughter's sleeping with another new boyfriend. <laughs> está durmiendo con otro nuevo novio. And, and they got problem after problem after problem, right? Y, y tiene un problema, otro problema y sobre otro problema. But here the proverb says, Pero aquí el proverbio dice, if your way of life, si tu, mo, si tu modo de vida, the way you, you run your life, la manera que tú estás viviendo tu vida, is upright, está siendo justa, You're not going to have a novella in your life. Tú no vas a tener una novela en tu vida. How many people want that in their life? ¿Cuánta gente quiere eso? How many people want that in their life? ¿Cuánta gente quiere eso? You should put up both hands, son. Tú deberías poner tus dos manos. I mean, your feet. Y tus pies. Okay. Anybody want less novella in their lives? Quieren una, una menos novela en sus vidas. Then let's see what the proverb says. Entonces, Proverbs 15 verse 19. Miremos lo que dice el proverbio. Proverbios 15, versículo 19. A lazy person's way seems overgrown by thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. Amen? 
If you want less problems in your life, si quieres tú menos problemas en tu vida, then you can't become a lazy person. Entonces puedes hacer un perezoso. You have to have an upright life. Debes tener una vida justa, recta. Let's see what the word upright is. Miremos qué quiere decir uh, recto, honesto. H three four seven seven. Yeshar yod shin resh. Yeshar means straight, upright, correct, pleasing, straightforward. Proper. La definición para honesto es la palabra H3477, Yashar. Su definición, justo, íntegro, correcto, justo, agradable, correcta, sincero, adecuado. So if you want a good life, si tú quieres una buena vida, your life has to be proper in God's sight. Tu, tu vida debe ser bien recta al, a la vista de Dios. Remember at the beginning of the, the teaching, what did we do? Recuerda el principio de la enseñanza, ¿qué hicimos? I wanted you to think about how many hats you wear in your life. Yo te, yo hice, yo quise que pienses que cuántos sombreros tú ocupas en tu vida. So the proverb is very important to your life. El proverbio es muy importante en tu vida. Are you correct being a husband? Tú estás en, eh, siendo justo, siendo un esposo. Are you correct how you teach your children? Tú estás siendo correcto cómo enseñas a tus hijos. Are you correct hijos? being a wife? Estás siendo correcto Are you correct ser, being siendo a son? Al ser un hijo. Are you correct being a daughter? Está siendo correcto el you need, de ser una hija. Everybody needs to think about this in God's sight. Todos deben pensar de esto a la, en la, a la vista de Dios. Because if your if your life is being overgrown by these these traps. Porque si tu si tu vida está siendo llena de estas trampas. If your life is being overrun by these traps. Si tu vida está siendo llenada de, de todas estas trampas. Then the proverb says you're a lazy person. Entonces el proverbio está diciendo que tú eres una persona. So think about it. Am I really lazy? Be honest with yourself. Sé honesto contigo mismo. So who else should I ask the Ten Commandments? David Vicente Jr., can you give me the Ten Commandments? In Espanol? Rav Ed will hear you. Diez mandamientos, por favor, gracias. Did you have another guy in front of me? Candy? Her eyes just fell out of her head. Who else is back there? Wait, wait, let me see. There's a Rosa Lemma. Rosa, hi! I saw you hiding in the back there. Don't want to put you on the spot, but Diaz Mandiamentos, por favor. Escucha! The Lord you got, who brought you out of the land of Egypt? Do I have any other gods in front of me? Do I take the, the name of the Lord in vain? Remember the day of rest? Honor your father and mother? Do not kill? Kill? Do not murder? Do not commit adultery. Shh, she's soft enough. Do not uh, f give false testimony. Two more. Ah, oh, sort of like going to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. If you don't, if you want a good life, everybody. Si quieres una buena vida. And you don't want your life overgrown by thorns. Y si no quieres que tu que tu vida esté se llena de trampas. I can't no, force espinos, you to read God's sorry, word. The spinos. You said thorns, right? Thorns. Okay. Like the snare, or the trap. Si tú si tú no quieres que tu vida sea llena de trampas o espinos. I can't force you to read. No te puedo uh, forzar para que I leas. I can't force you to leave Egypt in your own hearts. No puedo que que tú forzarte a que saques Egipto de tus propios well, corazones. You, heaven, Pero lo que sí te puedo decir que yo tengo un padre en el cielo. Que tiene muchas bendiciones para tu vida. 
And you're in charge of getting your blessings. Y tú estás a, a cargo de obtener tus propias But bendiciones. But your life has to be pleasing to him. Pero tu vida debe debe ser complacida para por, But por if él. you're but if you're one that's getting tossed around like the ocean. Pero si tu si tu vida quieres que estés al, así llevado de un lado al otro por por oh, el océano. Everybody's against me. Como todos están en contra oh, de mí. Oh, they hate me at work. They hate this and this. Me oh, odian el trabajo. Me dicen esto y este otro. If your life is one long trap, si tu vida es una trampa de largo tiempo, then the proverb is saying you might be lazy. Entonces este pro, este proverbio te está diciendo que está siendo perezoso. Let's go to the next scripture. Vamos a la próxima go escritura. To, hold your place there. Mantén la página ahí. Deuteronomy 29. Vamos a Deuteronomio let's, wait, 29. Let's get there. Let's get there. Let's go to the next proverb. Proverbs 19, verse 15 and 16. Vamos al proverbio, versículo Proverbios 15, versículo 19. Yeah, let's go to Proverbs 19. Vamos a Proverbios 19. Proverbs 19. Proverbios 19. Verse 15 and 16. Versículo 15 y 16. This part is called work to keep as many mitzvot as possible. Esta parte se titula trabaje para mantener tantos mitzvot como sea posible. Proverbs 19, Michelle 19, verse 15 and 16. Proverbios 19, versículo 15 y 16. Lazy, laziness makes people fall asleep. An idle person will go hungry. He who keeps the mitzvah keeps himself safe, but he who doesn't care how he lives will die. Amen. Amen. Laziness makes you fall asleep, it says. La pereza hace que te quedes dormido. Laziness makes you fall asleep all the time on God's word. La, la, la pereza hace que te quedes dormido todo el tiempo en la palabra de But Dios. But a person will stay awake to watch a horror movie. Pero la persona estaría despierta para ver una película. Oh, horrible. what's going to happen? Oh, wait, that guy's going to come out of the car. Ahí viene el hombre malo. You're gonna, you know, they're gonna, stay, they're gonna stay awake to watch a war movie, right? Van a estar quedarse despiertos para mirar una película de guerra. But they're not gonna stay awake to listen to a teaching. Pero no van a estar despiertos para escuchar Here una enseñanza. Here are some people I was watching today. Aquí están las personas que he estado viendo hoy día. <laughs> okay. Laziness makes people fall asleep, says the scripture. La escritura dice que la pereza hace que la gente se duerma. But I'm sure if this, somebody was watching a concert, pero yo estoy seguro si alguien está mirando un concierto, like a you know, rock band or something like that, como un concierto de una banda de rock, or watching Metallica or something like that, o estás mirando Metallica o algo así, or watching you know uh, something you know some sort of band, o algún tipo de 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 grupo, or even watching somebody juggle. O incluso mirar a alguien que está manobreando. They're going to stay awake for that. Sí. Ellos van a estar despiertos para todo eso. The, that person will stay, watch, stay awake watching a novela. La, la persona está, se quedaría despierto para mirar una novela. Or have you ever seen those people on, talking on the phone gossiping? O como las personas están hablando en el teléfono uh, chis, uh, Chisme. chismeando. chismeando. Okay, oh, they're talking on the phone. Están hablando en el teléfono. You don't see them falling asleep then there, do you, huh? No les miras en el teléfono que se están quedando dormidos. But they're sitting there during the message. Pero se sientan durante el mensaje. They're in a really good teaching in the book of Proverbs here. Es una buena enseñanza del libro de Proverbios. And here's their heads. They do the bob and weave. Así está su cabeza. And then you see the elbow. Y ahí ves el codo. Okay. Look at verse 15 and 16, please. Mira el versículo 15 y 16. Laziness makes people fall asleep. An idle person will go hungry. He who keeps the mitzvah keeps himself safe. But he who doesn't care how he lives will die. Amen. Amen. These people will go hungry when there's war. Esta gente te, tendrán hambre cuando haya guerra. Those people who fall asleep on God's word now estas personas que se quedan dormidas en la palabra de Dios ahora we'll go when going to be a war. Van, a, van a tener hambre cuando toque, cuando toque estar en la guerra. But God said pero, in his of his word, pero Dios dice en su promesa de, en, la, en la promesa de su palabra stubborn, que si tú mantienes sus mandamientos y no eres terco 
What does he say in verse 16? ¿Qué es lo que dice en el versículo 16? You will be safe. Tú estarás a salvo. If you're safe, you're going to be having food, right? Si tú estás a salvo, tú vas a tener alimentos. In, in other translations, en otras traducciones, he who keeps the commandment keeps his soul. They use the word instead of uh, safe, it keeps his soul. En, en otras traducciones dice que si tú mantienes sus mandamientos, eh, tú vas a, a mantener tu alma. Look at verse 16 again, please. Mira el versículo 16. He who keeps the mitzvah keeps himself safe, but he doesn't care how he lives his life will die. Amen? Amen. So on the other hand, en la otra mano, if you're stubborn and you don't care about the commandments, si tú estás siendo terco y no te importa acerca de los mandamientos, you don't really love Yeshua or, or his word. Tú no, en verdad, no amas a Yeshua o su palabra. If you're lazy and you don't learn something about Yeshua, si eres perezoso y no aprendes nada acerca de Yeshua, and about Yehovah each and every day, y acerca de Yehovah cada día, you're not giving Yehovah what Elohim deserves. No le estás entregando a Yehovah lo que Elohim se merece. Look at verse 16, please. Mira el versículo 16. He who keeps the mitzvah keeps himself safe, but he who doesn't care how he lives will die. Amen? Amen. If you don't love the mitzvah, you don't love Yeshua. Si tú no amas los mitzvah, tú no amas a Yeshua. Hold your place there. Turn to Yochanan, John chapter 14, please. Mantén la página ahí. Vámonos a a Juan capítulo 14. John 14, please. Juan capítulo 14. Verse 10 through 24. Versículo 10 al 24. John 14, mm. Yohanan 14. Juan 14. Verse 10 through 24. Versículo 10 al 24. This part is called, He who keeps the mitzvah loves Yeshua, those who don't love Satan. Esta parte se titula, El que guarda los, los mitzvot ama a Yeshua, aquellos que no aman a Satanás. Don't you believe that I am united with the Father and the Father united with me? What I'm telling you is I am not saying on my own initiative, the Father living in me is doing his own works. Trust me that I am united with the Father and the Father united with me. But if you can't, then trust because of the works themselves. Yes, indeed, I tell you that whoever trusts in me will also do the works I do. Indeed, he will do greater ones because I'm going to, to the Father. In fact, whoever you, whatever you ask in my name, I will do so, so that the Father may be glorified in, his, in the Son. If you ask me for something in my name, I will do it. If you love me, you will keep my commands. And, if I, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another comforting counselor like me, the Spirit of truth to be with you forever. The world cannot receive him because it neither sees nor knows him. You know him because you're staying because he's staying with you and, he, and will be united with you. I will not leave you orphans. I am coming to you. In just a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live. I live. You too will live. When that day comes, you will know that I am united with the Father and you, will, and you with me and I with you. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the, the one who loves me will be loved by my father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Yehuda said to him, What has happened, Lord, that you are about to reveal yourself to us and not to the world? Yeshua answered him, If someone loves me, he will keep my word, and my father will love him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Someone who doesn't, love, doesn't keep my words, and the word you are hearing is not my own, but that of the father who sent me. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 15. It's our key verse. Mira el versículo 15 es nuestro versículo clave. If you love me, you'll keep my commands. Amen? Amen. Amen? Amen. He who keeps the mitzvot, it said, will be safe. Aquel que mantiene sus, sus mitzvot dice que va a ser salvo. In, the Pro in Proverbs 19, verse 16, what did it say? In Proverbs 19, verse 16, what did it say? In Proverbs 19, verse 16, what did it say? Proverbs 19, 16, ¿qué es lo it que said, dice? if you keep the mitzvot, you will be safe. Dice, si mantienes los mitzvot, vas a estar a salvo. Yeshua is now saying in John 14, verse 15. Yeshua está diciendo ahora en Juan capítulo 14, versículo 15. If you love me, you will keep my commands. Si me amas, tú mantendrás mis mandamientos. If you don't love Yeshua, you will be stubborn. Si tú no amas a Yeshua, tú serás terco. And you will follow Satan. Y estarás siguiendo a Satanás. And you cannot serve two masters. Y no puedes servir a dos amos. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. You cannot serve two masters. Tú no puedes servir a dos amos. You can't serve Yeshua and not keep the commandments. Tú no puedes servir a Yeshua y no mantener los mandamientos. You can't be united to Yeshua and not the commandments. Tú no puedes estar 
en unión con Yeshua y no con los mandamientos. Look at verse 11, please. Mira el versículo 11. Trust me that I am united with the Father and the Father united with me. But if you can't, then trust because of the works themselves. Amen. Amen. You can't say you're united with Yeshua Tú no puedes decir que estás en unión con and con not Yeshua. keep the Sabbath. Y no mantener el Shabbat. You can't say you're united with Yeshua no puedes decir que estás en unión con Yeshua and not keep the Sabbath. Y no mantener el sábado. For Yeshua is united with the Father porque Yeshua está en unión con el Padre. And what did the Father say? ¿Y qué es lo que dice el Padre? From Har Sinai, didn't the Father speak the fourth commandment? Desde el monte Sinai, ¿acaso el Padre no habló el cuarto mandamiento? He spoke the fourth commandment. Él habló el cuarto mandamiento. Look at verse 21, please. Mira el versículo 21. Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me is the one who will be loved by my Father. And I will love him and reveal myself to him. Amen? Amen. How do you keep them if you're lazy? ¿Cómo tú los mantienes si eres perezoso? If you can't quote me the Ten Commandments, Giovanni. Si no puedes citarme los Diez Mandamientos. Okay. She wants to try again. Should I give her a microphone? No, I'm loud. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, number one. I will give it to you. Uh huh. Sort of. I will give it to you. Ariel, you're next. <laughs> That's the second one. You do. You should know this then. I only want the best for you. That's why I'm putting you on the spot. So next week you're going to do them. You're going to do them. You're gonna, she's going to do it right in front of everybody. I'm going to make her stand up. <laughs> Ariel, give me the Ten Commandments, son. Number one. Utters God's. I love utters. Two. Number three. Number four. Yeah, then tell me number five and do it right. No, that's not what it says. It doesn't say it doesn't say that. What's number four? Number five? Yeah, I love mother and father too. Number six? Uh-huh. Ariel! <laughs> Ariel! Tiffany, help him out! Tiffany's like, oh no, don't oh, no. call on me. He missed number six. Uh, yeah! Ariel, right. you, di you did it? Oh, okay. Praise God. <laughs> okay. Okay. Look at verse 21. Why do I keep going back to this? Look at verse 21, everybody. Mira el, mira el versículo 21, porque estoy yendo a ver esto otra vez. And you adults, you should be, I should be able to call on you too. And you adults. Español. Español. You adults, I should be able to call on you too. Ustedes adultos, estaría de llamándoles a ustedes también. Gracias. Now, versículo 21. Ahora el versículo 21. <laughs> whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. And the one who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and reveal myself to him. Amen? Amen. If you can't do the, the simple commandments, si no puedes decir estos mandamientos, you're a spiritual adulterer. Tú eres un ad, uh, adultero espiritual. Because you could probably quote things about silly stuff. Quizás tú puedes citar cosas que son uh, tontas. But you can't quote the Ten Commandments about your beloved. Pero tú no puedes citar los mandamientos acerca de tu And amado. Yeshua is saying what in verse 21? Y Yeshua está diciendo qué en el versículo 21? If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Si you don't know the commandments. Si tú me amas, no. mantienes mandamientos. Okay? If you, keep, if, you don't, if you keep them, you're not lazy. Si tú los mantienes, tú no eres perezoso. If you keep them, you're not stubborn. Si tú los mantienes, no eres terco. But if you don't know them, Pero si no sabes, you're joined to Baal Peor. Tú estás uniéndote a Baal Peor. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. Because there's two hands, everybody. Porque hay dos manos. In a marriage, you got to know what your marriage vows say. En un matrimonio, tú debes conocer lo que tus votos matrimoniales dicen. 
Yeshua is saying if you love him, Yeshua dice, si le amas, you're keep the commandments. vas a mantener sus mandamientos. If you don't know the commandments, si tú no conoces los mandamientos, then you're loving Satan instead of him. entonces tú estás amando a Satanás en vez de él. Because you've been trapped by the world. Porque tú has sido atrapado por el mundo. Look at, let's go back to Proverbs 19. Regresemos a Proverbios 19. Hold your, uh, Proverbs 19, please, verse 16 again. Proverbios 19, versículo 16. He who keeps the mitzvah keeps himself safe, but he who doesn't care how he lives will die. Amen? Amen. If you don't care how you live, si no te importa lo que tú vives, you're going to die. Tú vas a morir. What does it mean to die? ¿Qué significa morir? What does it mean to die? ¿Qué significa el morir? Separation from God. Es la separación de Dios. Okay. So if Yeshua said the laws were not done on the cross. Si Yeshua está diciendo que las leyes no terminaron en la cruz. No, if Yeshua said the, the laws were done on the cross. Si Yeshua dice si las leyes fueran, no fueran terminadas en la cruz. Would that be a total contradiction? Si Yeshua hubiese dicho que las leyes fueron terminadas en la, en la cruz, ¿no sería eso una contradicción total? Cuando el Señor destruyó a 24 mil personas por unirse a Baal Peor, 24 mil personas murieron. Mantén en la página en Proverbios 19. Y vamos a la primera carta de Juan, capítulo 2. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 2. ¿Alguien aprende algo ahora? Sí, todo el mundo sabe que Juan no puede quitar los 10 mandamientos. Bien. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 2. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 2. Maybe I should ask Benjamin the fourth. Yeah, ask him. He's next. First John chapter two, verse three through six. But we got time. We're running a short on time here. <laughs> keep the, this part is called keep the mitzvah, keep safe, for this shows you really his child. First John chapter two, verse three through six. Primera carta de Juan capítulo dos versículo tres al seis. Esta parte se titula observa la mitzvah, cuídese porque esto demuestra que usted es realmente su hijo. The way we can be sure we know him is if we are obeying his commands. Anyone who says, I know him, Avon, but isn't obeying his commands is a liar. The truth is not in him, but if someone keeps doing what he says, then truly love for God has been brought to its goal in him. This is how we are sure that we are united with him. A person who claims to continue in, in union with him ought to conduct his life the way he did. Amen. Amen. Let's take a look at this a little bit. Miremos esto por un momento. Let's go back to verse 4. Miremos el versículo 4. Anyone who says, I know him, but isn't obeying his commands is a liar. The truth is not in him. Amen. Amen. And it, the church says they know him. La iglesia dice que lo conocen. But they're not obeying the fourth commandment. Pero no están obedeciendo el cuarto mandamiento. John Silly Khan at Beth Israel. Uh, that's what we're going to call him, John Silly Khan. John Tonto Khan in Beth Israel. Is, se is selling his book on the Shabbat. Está vendiendo su libro en Shabbat. But he says he knows Yeshua. Pero él dice que él conoce a Yeshua. He is a liar. Él es un mentiroso. Because we're not to sell on the Shabbat. You're to do no regular work on the Shabbat. Porque no podemos vender en Shabbat. No podemos, no tenemos que hacer ningún trabajo regular. Verse 4. Mira el versículo 4. Anyone who says, I know him, but isn't obeying his commands, is a liar. The truth is not in him. Amen? Amen. Because you're joined to Satan. Porque tú estás, la verdad no está en él, porque estás uh, uniéndote a Satanás. If you can't quote the ten, si no puedes citar los 10, no te voy a preguntar acerca de los 20. I'm not ask you what you need for the holy days. No te voy a preguntar qué necesitas para los días santos. Like, what do you need for Yom Teruah? Como qué necesitas para Yom Teruah. What do you need for Yom Teruah? ¿Qué necesitas para Yom Teruah? When, okay, what do you need for it? What do you need for Shavuot? ¿Qué necesitas para Shavuot? What do you need for Shavuot, John? Two loaves of bread from the store, right? You got to make them. Okay? Look at verse 6, everybody. Mira el versículo 6. A person who claims to be continuing the union with him ought to conduct his life the way he did. Amen? Mm -hmm. How is the church conducting their life the way Yeshua did? ¿Cómo la, la iglesia está conduciendo su vida de, de la manera que Yeshua lo hizo? They don't celebrate Pesach. Ellos no celebran la Pascua. People who say they believe in Jesus. La gente que dice que, que cree en Jesús. We go to church every Sunday. Vamos a la iglesia cada domingo. How many Sunday services did Yeshua do? ¿Cuántos servicios del domingo Yeshua lo hizo? 
Okay, those who say they know God. Aquellos que dicen que conocen a Dios. Okay, are going to be doing Yom Teruah. Van a estar haciendo Yom Teruah. And not Rosh Hashanah. Y no Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah. You, you got to conduct your way the, the way Messiah did. Tienes que conducir tu vida de la manera que el Mesías And if you're con... celebrating Christ Mass, y si estás celebrando la misa de Cristo, then you don't know Yeshua at all. Entonces no conoces a Yeshua. Look at verse 6 again. Mira el versículo 6 otra vez. A person who claims to be continuing union with him ought to conduct his life the way he did. Amen? Amen. How many Easter dinners did Yeshua go to? Bueno, ¿Cuántas cenas de, de, pa, de, no, de, Pascua, de, How... cuare, de cuaresma Yeshua fue? How many ham sandwiches did Yeshua eat? ¿Cuántos uh, sándwiches de jamón Yeshua he comió? He ate a gyro instead. Él comió un gyro. Okay. Go to 1 John chapter 5 now. Vamos ahora a la primera carta de Juan, capítulo 5. 1 John cinco. chapter 5. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 5. Verse 2 and 3. Versículo 2 y 3. 1 John chapter 5. Primera carta de Juan, capítulo 5. Verse 2 and 3. Versículo 2 y 3. This part is called if you love Jehovah with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you will not you will not think doing the commands is burdensome. Esta parte se titula si amas a Jehová con todo tu corazón, mente, alma y fuerza, no pensarás que observar los mandamientos son agobiantes. Here is how you, will, you we know that we love God's children. When we love God, we also do what he commands. For loving God means obeying his commands, and moreover his commands are not burdensome. Amen. How do we know we love God? ¿Cómo sabemos que amamos a Dios? We do what he commands. Hacemos lo que él manda. But if you're being lazy and not finding out what those commandments are, Pero si tú estás siendo perezoso y no no estás viendo en dónde están esos mandamientos, then you're being stubborn. Entonces estás siendo terco. Loving God means what? Amar a Dios significa que not being stubborn. No ser terco. Not thinking in your heart I'll be okay. No pensar en tu corazón, yo voy a estar bien. I'll be okay. Yo voy a estar bien. Look at verse 3. Mira el versículo 3. For loving God means obeying his commands, moreover his commands are not burdensome. Amen. Amen. These commands are the way we should live our lives. Estos mandamientos son la manera que deberíamos vivir nuestras vidas. But if you can't quote them, Pero si no los puedes citar, How do you know if you're living your life right? ¿Cómo tú vas a saber que estás viviendo una vida justa? Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra If vez. If you can't state them, si no puedes citarlos, say them. How do you know if you're living your life correctly? ¿Cómo tú sabes que estás viviendo una vida well, correcta? I can go look them up. Yo puedo ir a, a y mirarlos. That doesn't help. Eso no ayuda. When you're driving. Cuando tú estás manejando. That doesn't help when you're doing something on the internet. Eso no trabaja cuando estás haciendo algo en la internet. That doesn't help when you're at work. Eso no trabaja cuando tú estás en el trabajo. And a little girl comes over your de your desk and goes, "Hi, John." Y está está una muchacha viene y se acerca a tu escritorio y te dice, "Hi, Marty." Ah, uh, Marty, Marty, I don't have the money for the bus today. Te dice. <laughs> But, hi, Marty. Te dice hola, Martín. Can I get on? I'll pay you tomorrow. <clears throat> Te puedo pagar mañana. Marty's like, yeah, sure. Y Martín dice, sí. Sure, Michelle. Sí, I Michelle. see you every day. Te veo cada uh -huh. día. Okay, look at verse 3, guys. <laughs> Mira el versículo 3. For loving God means obeying His command. Moreover, His commands are not burdensome. Amen? Amen. You got to know the commands to De understand that they're not burdensome. Debes saber y conocer los mandamientos para entender que no son agobiantes. And if you have a leader, si tienes un líder, a pastor, un pastor, a rabbi, un rabino, a father, un padre, a mother, una madre, a child, un, un niño, who breaks these, quien, quien esto, chastisement should be swift and harsh. El castigo debería ser al momento y duro. Let me say that again. Déjame repito otra vez. If anybody breaks these commandments, this chastisement should be swift and harsh. Eh, si alguien quebrante estos mandamientos, el castigo debería ser uh, fuerte. Now let's end this part with theme number three. Miremos el tema número tres. About five or eight more minutes till the children's ministry. Turn to Ezekiel 33. Vamos a Ezequiel 33. Ezekiel 33. Ezequiel 33. This is theme number three. Este es el tema número tres. It is called the, show, the, the watchman shofar. Y se titula El Shofar de la Atalaya. Has anybody learned something here today? Amen. Amen. Or you're still angry about the healthcare problem? 
We got to talk, okay? I'm moving to Mexico. We got free health care. <laughs> we got to Got talk. a couple of teeth in my head that needs fixing, and maybe a gallbladder needs to be taken out or something. Maybe I can have a sex change or something. If it's free, maybe all the people from California can go. <laughs> Ezekiel 33, verse 5. Ezequiel 33, versículo 5. Okay. Ezekiel 33, verse 5. Ezequiel. I'm going to have them also speak English. <laughs> verse 5, everybody. Ezekiel 33, verse 5. You got it? Okay. Rookie's looking. All right. He heard the shofar but paid no attention, so the responsibility for his death is his own. Whereas if he had paid attention, he would have saved his life. Amen. Man. If you pay attention to the laws of God, you will save your life. Si pones atención a las leyes de Dios, tú vas a salvar tu vida. But a lot of people don't like to pay attention to the commandments of God. Pero muchas personas no les gusta poner atención a los mandamientos de Dios. In verse 5, the person doesn't care how they are living. En el versículo 5, la persona no le importa de la manera que está viviendo. A lot of people follow their own personal rules. Mucha gente vive en sus, sus reglas personales. Now let's read verse 1 through 9. Let's see it in context. Miremos ahora el versículo 1 al 9 para mirarlo en contexto. The word of Jehovah came to me, son of man, speak to your people. Say to them, suppose I bring a sword on the country, and the people of that country take one of their men and point, them, point him as their watchman. Now, if upon seeing the sword coming against that country, he blows his shofar and warns the people. Then if the sword come and takes someone who heard the sound of the shofar but paid no attention to it, the responsibility for that person's death will be his own. He had heard the shofar but paid no attention, so the responsibility for his death is his own. Whereas if he had paid attention, he would have saved his life. But if a watchman sees a sword coming and does not blow the shofar so that the people are not warned, then the, the sword comes and takes one of them, that one will indeed be taken away in his guilt, but I will hold the watchman responsible for his death. Likewise, you, son of man, I have appointed you as watchmen for the house of Israel. Therefore, when you hear the word from my mouth, warn them for me. When I tell the wicked person, wicked person, you will certainly die. And you fail to speak and warn the wicked person to lead the, his way. Then the wicked person will die guilty. And I will hold you responsible for his death. On the other hand, if you warn the, the wicked to, to turn from his way. And he doesn't turn from his way. He will still die guilty. But you will have saved your life. Amen? Amen. Look at verse 3, please. Mira el versículo 3. Now, upon seeing the sword coming against that country, he blows the shofar and warns the people. Amen? Amen. Now, the watchman telling people must be trained. El, el atalaya está diciendo, debe ser uh, entrenado. He, he has to know what he's looking at. Él debe saber qué es lo que él está mirando. There are a lot of people that are afraid of spiders. Hay muchas personas que tienen miedo a las arañas. So you're going to watch that's afraid of a spider. He's going to blow the shofar. <laughs> Un atalaya que tiene miedo a las arañas, él va, él va a sonar el shofar. There's a spider in the booth, oh! <laughs> Hay una araña en el en el You should see Mia and Lev freak out over spiders. Es <laughs> Mia y Lev con miedo a las arañas. The watchman has to be trained to be a good teacher. El atalaya debe ser entrenado para ser un buen maestro. He has to know what he's looking at. Él debe saber qué es lo que está mirando. He has to be the voice crying out that there's danger coming. Él, él debe conocer que eh, si hay una voz que está clamando que hay un peligro he, que está uh, por, por venir. He has to know how to sound the shofar. Él debe saber cómo sonar el shofar. And what sounds to make out of that shofar. Y qué sonidos debe salir de ese shofar. But then the people need to know how to listen to the sound of the shofar. Pero así la gente debe conocer los sonidos del shofar. Look at verse 4. Mira el versículo 4. Then if the sword comes and takes someone who heard the sound of the shofar but paid no attention to it, the responsibility for that person's death will be his own. Amen? Amen. Why is that person's death his own? ¿Por qué esa, esa persona es... Um, Why is that person's death his own? ¿Por qué esa persona muere por sí solo? Oscar, what do you think? He didn't pay attention. ¿Por qué la muerte de la persona es su propia responsabilidad? Okay. Okay. He didn't no pay attention. attention. Is it more than that? Es más de eso. He didn't pay attention to the warning. No puso atención a la a la advertencia. Benjamin the fourth. Salvation's personal. 
La salvación es personal. But in, in, the, in, in what the message that we had about laziness, he's responsible. Responsibility es, es, is his own. Responsibility is his own. La responsabilidad es, eh, es, es de él mismo. My job is to warn you. Mi trabajo es de advertirte. You don't want to do it, that's okay. Si no quieres hacerlo, está bien. You want to be stubborn, that's okay. Si quieres ser terco, está bien. You want to fornicate, that's okay, just not here. Si quieres fornicar, está bien, solo no aquí. You don't want to know the Ten Commandments? That's okay. Si no quieres saber los diez mandamientos, está bien. But look at verse 4. Pero mira el versículo 4. Then if the sword comes and takes someone who heard the sound of the shofar but paid no ten attention to it, the responsibility for that person's death will be his own. Amen? Amen. My job is to tell you the truth. Mi trabajo es decirte la verdad. I can name scripture after scripture of why we need to still follow the Torah. Te puedo entregar escritura tras escritura y decirte el por qué debemos aún seguir la Torah. And Messiah Yeshua said we need, still need to follow the Torah. Y el Mesías Yeshua dice que aún seguimos debemos seguir la Torah. But if you don't want to do it, pero si no lo quieres hacer, that's okay. está bien. You want to do nasty things? That's okay. Just quieres, not here. Quieres hacer cosas desagradables? Está bien, pero You're no aquí. You're married and you don't want to cover your That's okay. Si quieres casado, casado y no quieres cubrirte el pelo? Está bien. That's okay. Si quieres cortarte la barba? Está bien. Because it's all personal. The Porque responsibility is your own. Las, las responsabilidades son personales, son de ti mismo. You want to be lazy in the word of God? That's okay. Quieres ser perezoso en la palabra de Dios? Está you, bien. You want to be stubborn in the word of God? That's okay. Quieres ser terco en la palabra de Dios? Está bien. My job is to be the watchman. Mi trabajo es de ser el atalaya. And to tell pagan Gentiles to stop saying that the word of God is not the word of God. Y, y, de, y parar a los, a los gentiles paganos que dicen que la palabra de Dios no es la palabra de Dios. Look at verse 5. Mira el versículo 5. You heard the shofar but paid no attention so the responsibility for his death is his own whereas he had paid attention he would have saved his life. Amen? Amen. What did the Proverbs say? ¿Qué dijo el proverbio? What did the Proverbs say? ¿Qué dijo el proverbio? About the way of your life acerca de, de la manera de vida tuya. The person heard the, vo the voice of the one crying out in the wilderness. La persona escuchó la voz que clamaba en el en el desierto. But didn't want to listen. Pero no quiso escuchar. Didn't want to listen. No quiso escuchar. So now you're being taken away. Ahora tú te está, estás siendo llevado. To death. A la muerte. To death. A la muerte. You want to fornicate? Okay, that's fine. Quieres fornicar? Está bien. Just not here. Solo no aquí. You want to fornicate? Do it somewhere else. Quieres fornicar? Hazlo en otro lado. But your death is your own. Pero tu muerte es tu propia Because God elección. is everywhere. Porque Dios está en todo lado. Look at verse 6, please. Mira el versículo 6. But if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow the shofar so that the people are not warned, And then the sword comes and takes one of them, uh, them. That one is indeed taken away in his guilt, but I will hold the watchman responsible for his death. Amen? Amen. Franklin Graham said Jesus is coming back soon. Franklin Graham dijo que Jesus, Jesus ya está por venir. Then what are you Jesus. doing, moron, to stop it? Entonces, ¿qué estás haciendo para detener eso? Because we got a lot of bad stuff that happens before Messiah comes back. Porque debe ser muchas cosas que deben suceder antes que el Mesías regrese. I don't want to see you taken away as a being raped by Muslims. Yo no quiero verte a ti que te, te están llevando uh, para ser, siendo violada por los musulmanes. I want to see my granddaughter and more grandchildren. Yo quiero ver a mi nieta y más more nietos. More grandchildren. Más nietos. I want to see people get married and have more children. Yo, yo quiero ver gente que se casen y ver más hijos. So I'm doing my best to warn you. Estoy haciendo lo, lo que mejor puedo para advertirte. Let's look at our final verse. Uh, no, verse 8. Let's go to verse 8. Vamos al versículo 8. When I tell the wicked person, wicked person, you are certainly dying, you fail to speak and warn the wicked person, leave his way, then that wicked person will die guilty, and I will hold you responsible for his death. Amen? Mm -hmm. This is what a lot of the teachers don't understand. Esto es lo que muchos de los, de los maestros no entienden. If you don't tell them the truth, si tú no les dices la verdad, they're going to die in their sin. Ellos van a morir en su pecado. Truth is of us. Porque la verdad está dentro de nosotros. But I that if I teach you wrong, Pero yo entiendo si te enseño de una manera I say, mal. Y si te digo que está bien el, el ser novios, que está, eso it's está okay en la palabra. To go out on dates. Está bien que la gente que no está casada salga y tenga That's citas. The next citas. Okay. It's okay. 
Está bien. It's okay to fornicate. Está bien el, el fornicar. Now just get married. Ahora solo que se, que se casen. But you don't understand your role as, as a husband or a wife. Pero tú no entiendes el papel de esposo o esposa. If I don't tell the wicked person si no le digo a la persona malvada, what they're doing is wrong, que lo que está haciendo es mal, the wicked person is going to die. La, la, la persona malvada va a morir. But what does it mean? Pero qué significa? His blood that God is going to hold me responsible for his death. Pero qué quiere decir que el Señor me va a hacer a mí responsable por su muerte? This is why whoever you're listening to, you better make sure they know what they're talking about. Pues por eso que de donde quiera que tú estés escuchando, asegúrate que, asegúrate que, estés en, que sepan lo que están hablando. Our final verse is verse nine for this teaching. Nuestro versículo final. De esta On the other hand, if you warn the wicked to turn from his way and he doesn't turn from his way, then he will still die guilty, but you will save your own life. Amen. Amen. I gotta warn you. Tengo que advertirte. I got to tell, tell you stop being lazy. Tengo que advertirte que dejes de ser perezoso. It's more than just the Ten Commandments. It's a way of life. Es más de que los diez mandamientos. Es una manera de vida. Do not be stubborn with learning God's word. No seas terco en aprender la palabra de Dios. We're getting ready for the fall holy days. Nos estamos acercando a los días santos de otoño. Are you ready for Yom Teruah? Estás listo para Yom Teruah? Or you're celebrating Rosh Hashanah? O estás celebrando Rosh Hashanah? The shofar is a tool of warning. El shofar es una herramienta de, de advertencia. And most of all, what the shofar is? Y lo, lo más que el shofar es? It's a tool that lets you know that the instructions that are about to follow. Es una, es una herramienta que son instrucciones que se debe seguir. That's why we sounded at the beginning of Shabbat. Es por eso que la, lo sonamos al principio del Shabbat. Because instructions are soon to follow. Porque las instrucciones Amen. son hechas para Amen. seguir. Amén. Why don't we just bow our hearts for one moment? Inclinemos nuestro corazón por un And momento. Offer somebody a chance to accept Yeshua in their heart. Yo ofre ofrezcamos a alguien que acepte Yeshua en su corazón. We're going to say a quick little short prayer. Vamos a, a hacer una una oración. If you're out there today, si estás afuera hoy día, and you have not accepted Yeshua as Messiah, y no has aceptado a Yeshua como el Mesías, today is your birthday. Hoy día es tu el día que has your nacido. Your real birthday. Tu día verdadero que has nacido. To accept Yeshua into your heart. Para aceptar a Yeshua en tu corazón. The day of salvation has come to you. El día de salvación ha venido ha llegado a ti. And it starts with a simple little prayer. Y empieza con una oración muy simple. That you need to say and mean in your heart. Que necesitas decir y sentirles en tu corazón. Say Yeshua. Di Yeshua. I've done many things wrong. Yo he hecho muchas cosas malas. But today I realize. Pero hoy día me he dado cuenta. That I have been stubborn. Que he sido muy terco. And I need to repent of that. Y que necesito arrepentirme de eso. I ask for your forgiveness. Te pido perdón. I ask for you to wash me. Te pido que me laves. Clean me. Que me limpies. Make me something new. Hazme algo nuevo. If you've done that really in your heart for the first time. Si has hecho esto en verdad en tu corazón por primera vez. Accepted Yeshua in your heart. Que has aceptado a Yeshua en tu corazón. And you are born again. Entonces has nacido nuevamente. But Yeshua said this. Pero Yeshua dice esto. That if you don't profess him before man. Si tú no le profesas ante el hombre. Then he won't profess you before his father and his angels. Entonces él no te profesará ante su padre y sus ángeles. So if you accepted Yeshua for the first time. Si tú estás aceptando a Yeshua por primera vez. Just slip up your hand and so we can pray with you. Levanta tu mano y oraremos por If you're hearing this on radio or television or internet, si estás escuchando esto en radio televisión o internet, just let us know so we can pray with you. Déjanos saber así oraremos contigo. Your name is Shua. En el nombre de Yeshua. Amen. Shalom. This is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, BethGoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings learned more about him today we are blessed if you are blessed by these messages please consider a donation to our ministry you can go to our website bethgoyim.org that's b-e-t-h-g-o-y-i-m dot org and click on the donate button you do not have to have a paypal account to donate all you need is a debit card once again thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call. If you have not taken your first steps to be born again, just ask God's help. 
Remember, it's His loving grace that has come to find you. No one is worthy or able to reach God, but God can reach us, and He's reaching out to you now. Just open your heart and let Him in. His arms are open, and the blessing of salvation and eternal life are waiting for you. Don't let it wait any longer. Shalom. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord lift his face to shine upon you. May the Lord be gracious unto you and give you his shalom. Shalom. My name is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman, and I invite you to come to visit our congregation. If you are in the tri-state area, come out and visit with us on Shabbat. We are a congregation of Jews and Gentiles, living as one in the Messiah Yeshua. BGMC is a place of true worship. The focus never wanders from the Hebraic roots of our faith. Beth Goyim is rooted in the Word of God from Bereshit through to the book of Revelation. Messiah's strong words against man-made tradition are carefully recorded in Matthew 7. That is the reason we only follow the straight-up instructions found in Scripture, truly the way, the truth, and the life. If you're looking for a deeper walk with Adonai, come out for our Tuesday evening Bible study called Messianic Torah Time. Come, spend the day with us on any Shabbat. We start at 11 a.m. with the sound of the ancient Hebrew shofar. Next, we offer our King praise and worship in English, Hebrew, and Spanish. After worship, we review the headlines in the previous week's news from around the globe, especially news from the Holy Land, Israel. We don't just list the news headlines as current events, but we comb through the scriptures searching for clues to understand what they mean and then to help pinpoint prophetically our current position on Adonai's clock. After digesting all that modern information, we leave the world behind as we journey with our Adonai deep into his eternal word, not with just one or two scriptures, but usually seven or more scriptures. The spiritual nourishment and the richness of his kingdom become accessible to the ones who share this special time and seek them out. The day does not end there. Because Shabbat is so special to him, there is always so much more that our king desires to share. So instead of separating and leaving, we stay together as a family for potluck lunch and an afternoon study of our King's Word. We close the Shabbat together with the reading of the New Week's parasha. That's the Torah portion. Even after those blessings, many of us just can't get enough. So the members bring prepared homemade foods to share while we all enjoy an uplifting movie together. If all that information is not quite enough, you can check out our website where you will find over 200 video teachings and biblical holy day studies. Under Messianic Torah Time, the Hebrew Roots button, you'll discover free studies on many, many different topics, including PowerPoint slide presentations. If Beth Goyim sounds like a place you'd love to visit, but you live outside the tri-state area, there is still a way to connect with us. We stream live on the internet on Tuesday, Thursday, and Shabbat. The website is www.bethgoyim.org. That's B E. T H G O Y I M dot org. Our phone number is 973 338 7800 or 978 2 Yeshua. That's 978, the number 2 Yeshua. Shalom. <laughs>